a human being. Yeah. Then you just get old and jaded and realize it's the same dickhead that's in there every friggin' time. So, but uh, we lost a war hero is what it comes down to. He flew 201 missions in Vietnam. 201 missions he flew? Yeah. Oh, and he dies crapping himself with Alzheimer's. And was There's the no highest justice. ranking naval officer captured in the war, by the way. Really? So he was a, a true war hero. There is just Colin no Quinn! What hey, the Colin. fuck? All right. Yeah, this Colin. Is, this is so early for Colin. Colin, Colin, come staggering in here. I didn't, what are you doing here so early? Oh, we didn't know you were coming in. You Let are up early. Let me just explain one thing because I understand. He just said, he told me, Opie was there. I saw him the other night. He goes, hey, man, come by the show this week. Yeah. Then Phony, which is what I'm calling Norton right now, <laughs> says to me two nights ago, he goes, you should come by the show. Like he wasn't sitting with us when you invited me. And the reason he did that, because I've been thinking about it all morning. I forgot. Yeah. The reason he did that yeah. is because instead of being what he is, a self-centered ass that doesn't remember his, to call his friends or even tell Benji to call me. He actually wanted to say, hey, I told the guy to stop by, and he even said it just now. <laughs> Shut up, filthy the concept. That's not true. Ben yes, said to me, true. Ben said to me Collins here, what am I going to say? He's a, an ass who couldn't sleep? I'm like, well, he's invited <laughs> back. Oh, you're going to say Opie invited him, and I jumped on the bandwagon because I'm a phony. God, well, I, I wants to be invite you. I Shut up, you're not magnanimous. Can you sit down at least and put your stupid headphones on? I forgot that my weekend started at the cellar. That, was, that seemed like a month ago. It was only two days ago. I know. Yeah. Three, four, whatever. What do you, you know what it is? It's a three-day weekend. So it's uh, That's right. It seems so long. What the hell do you got, Colin? Just my own tea. I know this place provides nothing in the way of oh, comfort. Nothing. We're so rude to our guests, oh, too. That's, that, we make them pay for shit. That's the best thing. When a guest... Oh, you can when they When they ask... Yeah, yeah well, you can curse here. a little here. behind the times. Yeah. Hey, Colin, we're talking about uh, James Stockdale. He, uh, he died you know, overnight. Oh. Yeah. Remember him? I know, yeah. He ran with uh, Ross Perot. But he had that great line about Jack Kennedy that really put Quayle in his place. Oh. But everyone kind of also remembers that he was a stumbling, uh, stuttering, muttering prick up there. He yeah. really didn't have it. <laughs> well, his opening didn't line. Didn't have what it takes to be a politician. His opening line, because uh, everyone was wondering, who the fuck is this guy that Ross yeah. Perot picked? And he's like, who am I? What, what am I doing here? What am here? I doing here? <laughs> he I'll died tell and you. he turned out he had Alzheimer's. Yeah. Yeah, he died of Alzheimer's. Don't you people that say alt, old timers? Oh, I like when they say old timers. Right. It's it. old timers disease. Well, it's pretty much. Right? I don't care what they call it, it's a hilarious condition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jim, I pray you never. Uh, bad luck runs into streaks. I pray you never have it, Williams. How great is that? Look in the loved one's face. Who are you? Uh, you doddering asshole. Yeah. Nobody's trying to get the will in order. Oh. Oh, just, just sign this. Sign this. No, don't sign it, Penguin. Someone is saying uh, we got Stockdale wrong. Doug and PA, what's up? What? Yeah, we finally got Professor Anthony being wrong on something. Who was it? Because Lord Benson was the one that said Oh, that. Benson, you're right. I'm wrong. Who? He was the other old Lloyd guy. Benson. Remember Lloyd Benson? Oh, my God. Right. And who did he run with? Dukakis, I think. I'm Dukaki? Was, uh, Dukakis. You're right. Well, I'm wrong. See? I, I get him wrong. Every Watch it out. All right. There we go. Yeah, I'm wrong. That's that's the inappropriate. Thing. Very inappropriate that I'm wrong. Why? I don't like it. <laughs> it is uncalled for. All right. So okay. it's just a little tiny, uh, you know, item in the paper today that Stockdale died. What are you doing, Hawk? My mic's not standing. Oh, oh what That's happened? It. Too Colin. much lube. Colin, you could you could smack him in the face if you want. No, but uh, can I do, do that? What? Uh. Ugh. It's attached. It's an Ozzy bobblehead doll, I'm and it's throw Jimmy's. It in the garbage where it belongs. What do you mean what? it's attached? It's good. it's, it's a, a suction cup or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Idiots like me. I talk to it. All right. So where were we? <laughs> we were inspiration. We were just starting the radio program, and then I saw that James Stockdale was on uh, the news, mm -hmm. and he died, yeah. and so we went off on that tangent. We just kind of talking about Fourth of July <laughs> and our stupid weekends. And then Colin Quinn walked in out of nowhere like a homeless person. <laughs> yeah, I look a little. Quick. What are you doing up so early? <laughs> I, I, I what happened was I fell asleep for a couple hours. But then I was like, I kind of woke up and I was like, wait a minute, Opie invited me on the show. <laughs> Opie did. And then Norton added his half-hearted tooth. I just wanted to remind you. You didn't act, you didn't say, like Opie said, you should come on. You're like, you should come on the show more. Well, I'm glad you did. It wasn't an original <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, come on the show? How's that going to be an original idea? So if Ant says it, he's stealing from Opie? Shut up, stupid. Ooh, ooh, tell him, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> then the other night I get in the call with Norton. He drives me home from the cellar. And, you know, I mean, never mind his sex life and all the disgusting... Unsanitary, but his car is pretty funky too. It's like not nice. It's very. That's I, not true. It's a fine no, Saturn. No, it's not like if he was. A, if he was a compul he acts like he's a compulsive like germaphobe. But his house, his car, it's not really that clean. Right. So I go in the car. I lean. I go like this to sneeze, 
and I sneezed on my own shoulder. He's driving over there, and he goes, hey, you fucking disgusting mu-. But he was what? dead serious. He goes, you fucking disgusting pig. Well, cover, your, cover your mouth when you do that. It's really fucking disgusting. That's not true. Made the rest. Yeah, dead. No, this I is, swear you to didn't God, just, it's true. You didn't just turn your head. First of all, that, he's got a head like a Stonehenge fucking statue. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking turns it a quarter inch. <laughs> all over the car stuff sprays. You act like, like a light shut up. You're not it was like a 75 year old woman. You didn't just turn it. Was like a, it was like a Jessica Tandy sneeze. It was <laughs> not. <laughs> it was a delicate flower sneeze. And this idiot really starts cursing me out, but he was dead. I promise of you. Of course was he no was. Joking. Would you want that in your vehicle? If somebody sneezed, would I just you cover, you cover your mouth? I would want them to cover their mouth. Or, of course. Or, see, it all depends on how much he turned his head. Because I kind of like the uh, sneeze in his like shoulder thing. Because then it's not on your and hand. You imagine, shoulder. Here we are talking no, you don't like the shoulder. Two men's men's talking, right? And he actually starts cursing me out, going, "You fucking like, you know, just turns the whole mood, just inappropriate. It was uncomfortable. Why do you want to get sick? I'm he'll, trying to he'll, he'll put his out. tongue up a hooker's ass That's in Brazil. Say. I don't but, know. but Colin sneezes. It, and know, if it all depends on the car too, you know, the car, your, your car has seen some things, Jimmy. Yeah, it's really inappropriate. It was, it was an uncomfortable mood, and it made me realize. Jim, there's something really creepy about him. I'm sick of your little quirks. I just You're not big enough to have all these little quirks. <laughs> I have little quirks. Oh, I just don't want to get sick. Shut you your sneezed. mouth. And you're also not big enough to invite me on O and A to begin well, with. I'm glad you're listening. You're a Come on, wheel. Shut your <laughs> I remember more of that. You're not more than that. When you leave, I might hop in. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the best you're thing I did welcome. today, I tried to call Jim. I tried to call you about 5:45. Oh, is that your blocked ID? Arrogant. Yes, but first I made a mistake. I called Bob, who just recovered from knee operation. I woke him up. I go, I thought it was you. I go, hey. He's like, uh, I go, hey, you going to ONA? Oh, no. <laughs> I ruined his morning. It's kind of just a mess all over the place. <laughs> all right, so where were we? We oh, were on the uh, 4th of July weekend. Oh, we? yeah, okay. Ooh. You uh, went to the cellar, I guess? Went to the, yeah, my weekend started at the cellar seeing all these guys perform. Yeah. I like to do from time to time. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, it was a great show down there. That's what they do. I want to thank Esty and the gang at the cellar. They run a, the, I mean, they run a tight ship. And we talk about it from time to time. It's the best. It's the best comedy club in New York City yeah. by far. Yeah, That's where you go and see the real comics by far. It's true. I mean, Caroline's is great for the headliners and stuff. But just, I'm talking about just going on a regular night and seeing comedy. Nothing beats the cellar. You want to see Keith Robinson just go down there and work on material? <laughs> <laughs> There's that one night a year where you can walk in and catch that. How about that awful yellow shirt he had on last night? He is just fucking finished in life. <laughs> He has tinted sunglasses and like, and like he wears on stage. He really is a fucking a 1975 idiot. <laughs> Keith is finished. He's a real. N- hey, you guys let the curse on him? <laughs> of course we are. He's a real as Fat Nick, if I can quote him. <laughs> as Fat Nick would say. <laughs> Good old Fat Nick. As he hops out of his Escalade. <laughs> Good old Fat Nick. Yeah, so I went to the Did cellar. Did you see some of the clips of that whole scene down there with the neighborhood driving around with the soaped up windows? Free Fat Nick. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple of people. Well, the were- funniest thing was. The first racial epithet, the first use of the N-word was the black kids called the white kid that. Really? Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah, to go, yo, look at the chain on that skinny nigga, you know? Really? That was the first use of it. I swear to God. So and that's how the other life guy. has changed. The black kids called the white kid that, you know? Nigga, yeah, and then they w- w- drove around, picked up a couple of associates, but, like Frankie. But, I pointed out, any any good lawyer can get him off because he jumps out of his Escalade. He was listening to 50 Cent in the Escalade. Yeah. He jumped out of the escalator, so chasing the bad kid's back is turning. He goes, get that nigga. He could have said, hey, that was 50 Cent. That wasn't my client. Oh, there you go. It was just he had his radio up very loud. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll work, I'm sure. <laughs> you never know these days. I think Fat Nick's going to jail. Oh, he Honestly. already is in jail. And now they got the uh, they got the uh, cop's son just turned uh, states. Yeah. Kind of uh, ratted out uh, Fat Nick. You don't roll over on Big Nick. Eh, well, you're a cop's son, you know. Sure. you got to keep him out of trouble. Yeah, well, let's stay tuned. He's a stoolie. Well, thank God those kids Stool. were just there in the neighborhood. They had every right to be there, robbing a car. That's right. Uh, every right to be there. If you go to rob a car, you get a beating. That's the way it goes. That's it? Too bad. Of course. You're in the neighborhood. You knew what they were doing in there. You know, Stop you're it. from Ron Conkerman. That's how it beat you today. <laughs> and, you know, like uh, Jimmy pointed out a little while ago, that uh, was all over the papers for last week. Hate crime, hate crime, hate crime. And there was something that happened while we were away that is, uh, you know, pretty fucking tragic. What happened? There was a, a lady that was uh, stabbed what twice or three times in in the in the mall parking lot because this black guy uh, hated the white uh, lifestyle. Yeah, I wanted I had to kill a white was his quote. Had to kill a white. She was getting out of her car. He didn't like the way she opened her car door. Uh, what blonde, it was. He was walking by. Blue eyes. 
uh, she opened her car door, and he uh, was under the impression that she was trying to hit him with the car door. So he took his knife that he had just stolen from one of the stores at the at the mall, uh, put the knife to her throat, and uh, then somebody else passed by. He put the knife down a little bit, hoping that she was going to try to get away. He said that would have made it easier to stab her in the chest, which is uh, what he did. Well, our problem is we don't protest those things. We no. should be out in the street. Sharpton's no. not going to do it for us. Of course. I got the That's audio of the news story really That's fast. That's uh, some... A shocking confession today from the man accused in last week's murder at a White Plains shopping mall. In a videotaped confession played in court today, suspect Philip Grant says he hid in a stairwell at the Galleria Mall parking garage looking for a white woman to kill. He says he's fighting a racial war and that's why he fatally stabbed Conchita Russo Carrero. She's just a loving family lo uh, lover. I mean, she just loved her children and loved society. And you know, she was petite in size, but big in heart. On the tape, Grant also confessed to killing as many as four other people in the 1970s. Police are now investigating his claims. Mm. It, gets a little, it, it gets a half a page on the, uh, on the post. The fucking Daily News, which just stinks as a paper. Yeah. Uh, the editor should be executed. doesn't even mention it. No. Uh, was she going in there in the mall to uh, rob a store? Or was exactly. she just shopping? <laughs> is, is she recovering in a hospital or is she dead? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing. White people nothing. stink. We don't friggin' go out and protest. We don't do nope. nothing. We just sit here and take it. And then, uh, you know, you got to see a, a week's worth of uh, fat boy with a, his bat on the cover of all the papers. Yeah. <coughs> Bless you, sweetie. Oh, B. I wish I could. You're sneezing all over the Jimmy's place. Car. Oh, nah, why, don't you right. cover, why don't you cover your mouth? Jesus. Jimmy's <laughs> Obi can stuff. sneeze where Obi wants. Exactly, coward. Now Obi can to sneeze me. at me in my car. I'm like, ah, <laughs> thanks a lot. If Tough Crowd was still that. on, you would have let that sneeze slide. I, I would have rolled both windows up and enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Carl? Can I get you a lozenge? <laughs> lozenge. Breathe deep. One of those silly words, <laughs> lozenge. <laughs> that and Heine. <laughs> <laughs> so where were we with these uh, this, the, the the white lady there? So well, she now she's dead. Yeah, no, yeah. you know, but she's dead. Um, and uh, but no one's I, raising a stink. No one's raising a stink about it. When because, did it happen? Like Jimmy brought up, it's just with, with the way a lot of the liberals look at it. It's just expected of black it's, people. It's what they do. It's what they do. Some of the most racist people you'll find are these liberals that uh, have That's that mindset. True. They don't, uh, yeah, yeah, she had to die for being white. Like Madonna and, the, and these other idiots doing this thing, uh, and they want to forgive African countries' debt. Yeah. To, why? Why yeah. should we forgive African countries' debt? Because they they can't pay. They can't. We're going to get into that Live 8 stuff. we got some great, yeah. great audio. Oh, my God, do we have, I heard of something that is so, so chilling. <laughs> it's so chilling. You will go... <laughs> when you hear this, will you get the douche chill? The douche chill, the as famous they call douche it. chill. It your is, whole body just goes. <laughs> it is someone <laughs> losing it emotionally on the air, uh, and you know. No, is that true? Unless there's a dirigible <laughs> full of hydrogen falling on live people, you should keep it together on the air as much as possible. Well, we could bounce around. Why don't we bounce oh, right to the? Oh, uh, let's bounce right to it. It's too good. We'll probably uh, play it again later. Colin, did you uh, check out any of the Live Eight coverage? Oh uh, no, I did not. No, it was all over XM all weekend long, and I guess it's called July or something like that on XM. July. Maybe uh, one oh. of the boys could give me a little one sheet of exactly what that means. Awesome. Oh, but basically, they're replaying all the uh, performances all uh, all month long on on XM. So yeah, in case I don't you missed the it over the weekend, who came up with July as much as the person that goes, "Yep, let's go with that." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course, playing off the old Rocktober thing. That right, <laughs> of course, that every stupid uh, DJ has had to deal with over the years. That's I watched part true. of it in the gym. I was watching, you know, when I was just, you know, getting, oh, yeah, doing a little walking. Yeah, sure. And I was watching Pink Floyd, and it was phenomenal. And, yeah, uh, you like the Pink Floyd? Yeah, they interrupt when they're in the middle of comfortably numb. And I, I, I actually, what? in the middle of comfortably numb, they go to the DJs. They just start talking. Yeah, you're watching Pink Floyd. Are you shitting me? I actually. Whose coverage was that? VH1. And there was a of woman course. on a treadmill next to me, and I actually went, ah! <laughs> And she, she didn't have headphones on, and she looked over. She thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> and uh, it was actually a good point uh, that, that Sherrod raised. He said that they, they do that on purpose, so you can, no one can have the uncut footage. Son that of a bitch. They have to go in there and interrupt. It was actually a great point. Like, they want to sell a DVD. They don't want anybody having the entire performance uncut. Bastards. That's right in the middle of comfortably numb, though. Oh, I was My so angry. God. 
Yeah, because that's the first time uh, Pink Floyd performed together since 1981. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard Comfortably Numb. I thought I thought that came off pretty good. Like one of their other songs, I can't remember which one was a little off. U2 was great, sounded fantastic. Uh, and then and then some African woman came out. I guess they did this montage of uh, starving kids up on the big screen in London, uh, and they showed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they they uh, stopped the montage on this starving uh, uh, girl from I don't know how many years ago was the first one twenty eighty five twenty, twenty years ago from twenty years ago and uh, very emotional moment and um, then Bob Geldof comes out and talks about how this works and we got to keep the faith and blah 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 and then uh, he introduced that girl and she came walking out and she was very healthy um, very attractive African woman. And then she, they handed her the mic, and she gave a speech that I, I the people were dumbfounded. It was, <laughs> and, and, and no one knew when she was done, and they get like these awkward applause afterwards because they didn't know she was finished. It's like, what what purpose did that serve to have her come out and give a speech? We have her audio, Eric. Yeah, why don't we go oh, to that real fast? listen here. to this. What language is this? French. She said free fat <laughs> Yeah, that's French, right? French or Arabic French. It's some French influence in there, but I don't know what the hell that is. I heard you know what a click. it is. You made it sound like there was clicks and clicks. There was a little it's, popping and clicking in there. It's South Senegalese. <laughs> yeah, wow. <boy>. <laughs> and then uh, Madonna came out, and they had this girl stand out there for Madonna's performance. And she's just lost. She's just standing there. Madonna comes up and like puts her arm around her. And she was just kind of lost out there with a big smile on her face. It's a little awkward. Mm. A little awkward moment. Yeah, they were trying to recreate that great uh, live documentary moment when Bruce Springsteen pulled that girl from the audience. You ever see that video? <laughs> <laughs> and she got yeah. famous off of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah. turned out to uh, be She turned me. out to be, Courtney yeah, Knox. that's that chick from Lloyd France. Benson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, enough uh, emailing me telling me I made a mistake. I know. Lloyd Benson, another... Old fogey. Don't see him no more. No. All right, I don't know. <laughs> so Live Eight's uh, going to be on XM throughout the month of July. I, I got a one sheet in front of me, and it doesn't make any real sense. No? I don't know. Maybe go to Channel 200, the live channel, XM Live. Go. To find out uh, more, I guess. There you go. People praising the XM coverage. Of uh, course. Of course. Uh, what, what cities was this in? Philly? Ah. London? London, Toronto. Toronto Rome. Germany? Germany? And uh, Scranton. Yeah. And Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> and they, uh, XM was covering it. And, of course, our own Bruce Kelly was in London, England, covering Ooh. the festivities. you gotta, uh, you got to explain to Colin who Bruce Kelly is. Bruce Kelly is a complete tool. He, uh, he's a jock on the 80s channel. And he's just... Uh, uh, he try, he's a nice enough guy and everything, but he's, he's kind of like the mayor of XM. You know that type of guy? Yeah, but he was Every the, company has he's one. He's the self-appointed mayor of well, XM. Well, that's how it goes in every company. Is there that one guy that wants to be in, involved in everyone's business? Like anytime a new guy shows up at XM, he's there giving him, you know, let me tell you how this works in here. Let me, let me give a little inside yeah. scoop. Oh, you have any problems, you, you, you know? talk to me and I'll uh, let you know. Yeah. yeah, that guy. He's oh. the first guy that'll tell you that the bosses are really assholes and yeah, don't right. worry about it. You know, I'll take like, care of you and I'll show you the rope. But then it'll be, you know, hey, Hugh, how you doing? When the boss <laughs> right. comes by, you know. Yeah, the, three people, the three people he says, those are the people you can trust and the people you can't trust. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Wears his pants up to his nipples. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, no joke. I mean, his pants are very, very high. And and he wanted to run our channel to, uh, what what channel are we on? 202. 202. 203? 4? 5? 202? Oh, okay. 202. Two. And we passed on that, obviously. We passed yeah. on that idea. And we got yeah. this guy, Wick, Don Wicky. Yeah. And uh, he does a great job for us. But uh, Bruce was doing some coverage. Bruce was doing the coverage there in London, England. I really didn't hear much of it because I was watching on TV. But um, 
You probably campaigned for it, too. That's oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. you got to send me. you got to send me. I have a lot of contacts in London. If you yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> Could we get <laughs> Bruce Kelly on the on the, on the the line today? On the horn. Oh, on the horn. No, you got to use early. the English term, but I don't know what it is. Get mm. on the telly. Well, no, he does... Uh, the TV. The telly, the TV. No. <laughs> he does mornings... <laughs> He does mornings for the 80s channel. Stupid English, uh, English idiots. He does uh, mornings for the 80s channel. Does he? Right? right? He's up now. No. Is there any voice track? Well, it's now? like 12 at night in England. No. Yeah, he's got to be back. Is he back? He's got to be back. He should be back by now, right? I think it was over last week. Got to take the hop across the pond. I'm sure he said that. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. So he uh, he was over there in England. And um, from what I hear, uh, after the Who's performance, which I heard was stellar, very good job. The Who got out there and really rocked it. Jimmy, I know you're not a big Who fan. I like some of their stuff. I just... But, uh... Who? Uh, who? The Who the, the best. Shut stupid. up, old man. They're not the best. They're he, 20 times better than Ozzy and Black Sabbath. They're Sound not. Shut who, your mouth. Who? 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 Yeah. The Who are amazing. You're an idiot. They really are amazing. Ch -ch 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 yeah. <laughs> they're very overrated. They are not. They're overrated. great. Overrated. They're What's a legendary good? band. I understand. What's a good Who song? Name me one. I'll tell you what's Bobber not a good uh, Iron Man is not a good Who song. I know Stupid. it's not. It's a great Sabbath song. Shut up. There's like 50 great Who songs. There's not. A lot of hits. And he's very, he doesn't like Tommy, uh, the rock the opera. The rock opera. It's great. It's douchey. It's not great. No one enjoys the rock it's opera. Douchey. I love it. Well, again, exactly. Even the overture. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know how many times I had to play the Tommy CD yeah. on Christmas morning instead of celebrating that with uh, Christmas with my family back in the Tommy, day? Tommy. Tommy. That was another rock. He doesn't like you. He reminds himself of rock Tommy, a staple. molested freak. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who Tom, wasn't Tommy a movie too? Didn't they do a film about Tommy? Yeah, yeah. it wasn't very exactly. good. But but they had how about Quadrophenia? Quadrophenia was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Eminence Front. How about Ozzy? I never Sons? liked Eminence Front. <laughs> Eminence Front. I never liked that song. They had a lot of. My generation's a nice song. They have some good stuff. I'm not saying they did terrible. Yeah. They're I great. Think they're you have no taste. I have a fantastic taste. So I guess the Who is out of retirement again is what we're getting at. Yeah, yeah. They're actually uh, putting out an album. Roger Daltrey looks like Dick Clark. He's so young. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they did a, a bang up job. Really good. And I guess. Uh, with this and the whole atmosphere of saving the little Africans and everything, Bruce Kelly got a little emotional. No, he didn't. He, oh, dude, no. I no. love when people lose it. He did. He got a little emotional, and uh, it went out over the uh, XM airwaves. Is this live? Uh, yes, we're live. <laughs> Bruce, where were you, buddy? Uh, I was right up under the so, Hogs, uh You know, it's amazing yeah, watching it's starting. Uh, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey. Uh, perform these songs after all these years and still have the the Ten years. full spirit of what they do under control. I mean, you know, Townsend just continues to be an amazing guitar player. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. This is no fake. I, you know, the whole moment just kind of uh, um, kind of got to me. Uh, the video. Yeah, the video was uh, very powerful. Oh. Yeah, that was... Uh, Oh, it's yeah, uh, very awkward. I'm sorry, but uh, it was just very. I mean, you know, it's just a who. I, you know, I can't help but be a 14 year old kid out there with the who. And that's it. I'm sorry. You were seeing them live, I guess. That was in color. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. They were live on stage, oh. but the black and white was happening on the big screens too. So wow. yeah. Through your tears. Wow. So there's uh, two more to oh. go here uh, at Hyde Park, and the crowd. <laughs> an idiot! I'm sorry, oh, really. Okay. No, no. It's hey, just, look, that's just overwhelming. Yeah, that's what this, you know, that really is yeah. what this is all about. There are certain yeah. moments that touch everybody. Yeah. Oh, we're here at Lakehurst, New Jersey. <laughs> the Hindenburg is making its way. The uh, the uh, ropes are being let down. Oh, it's bursting into flames! Oh, the who is playing? I feel like a 14 year old boy. Get out of the way! Oh, this is the best band I've ever seen. Oh, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's the worst catastrophe ever. They show, vi they show videos of starving Africans. He's got nothing. He sees, you know, them playing like behind blue eyes. He starts crying. <laughs> we got just a little more of Bruce. Oh, no, that's it. oh I thought we had more, no? Just isolated? Okay. Hold it together. It's the who, dude. Oh. He was watching them on the screen. He wasn't even watching them live. No. You're, you're, you're watching it on television. <laughs> the who. There's always that moment during Squeeze Box where we all get a little... Uh, a little misty. Yeah, yeah. I've done that before. Uh, is that great or what? Wow.
Oh. That was the highlight for me, as far as Live 8 goes. Bruce just losing it. And the other guy trying to barrel throw it. Oh, I know. Big mommy with the other guy. Bruce. Bruce's face. That was George Calm Taylor down. Morris. I love George Taylor Morris. One of the best uh, voices in uh, rock radio ever. Who was that, George Taylor Morris? Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, audio of him right after the mics were shut off after that. You can act like a man! <laughs> 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 and a little more Bruce Kelly when he realizes what he did. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous! <laughs> You, you can't cry. There's no crying in satellite radio. <laughs> Jesus. That was fantastic. Can I hear that one part again? Just isolate. We don't need the whole setup with uh, George Taylor Morris. Got the part where he goes, hold my hand, man. <laughs> hold my hand. Broke my knee, man. Saw the who, man. It said the who been together for ten. They, they, they always perform. Yeah. They never really went away. No. They did have their retirement tours, but. Oh, brother. Ugh. Yeah. Let's hear a little Bruce. He acts like Dwayne Allman was back with the Allman Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a, a tough uh, one. Jerk a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Limit skinny, you know. Yeah. No. no. Can't do it. Is this live? Uh, yes, we're live. <laughs> Bruce, where were you, buddy? Uh, I was right up under these so, hogs. Uh, you know, it's amazing watching uh, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey. He just sees uh, Bruce losing these songs it. after yeah. all these years. Yeah. Trying to give him time to recover well, is what he's that doing. He says here. photogs. Oh. Photogs. <laughs> Well, George Taylor Morris is a, a true professional. He sees that his, his colleague there is losing it. Yeah. So he's trying to cover him, but Bruce had to plow ahead. Yeah. And still have the the full spirit of what they do under control. I mean, you know, Townsend just continues to be an amazing guitar player. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. <laughs> Oh, hold it. Just suck it up, Bruce. Jesus. When, when, when did Bruce turn into Sonny's wife from fucking Dog Day Afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> he says to me, get by the photogs, you fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a man, that is so tough to listen to. Oh, man. I should know. <laughs> I, at first, I thought it was he saw the video of these starving children. Yeah, no, I think Right, 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 right. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. This is no fake. I, you know, the whole moment just kind of, uh, um, kind of got to me with that video. Yeah, the video was uh, very powerful. Yeah, yeah, that was Paris Hilton video. <laughs> where she's sucking that cock. Maybe he was, uh, in all fairness, watching the video. Yeah. yeah. At least he used adult terminology like no fake. <laughs> no fake. <laughs> Faker. <laughs> Maybe we didn't see the video. Maybe Keith Moon came out and did a drum solo. <laughs> now, that might get people a little misty, sure. I think it was the montage that uh, Ann was talking about, but yeah. go ahead, Nate. I just have some more of uh, Bruce. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. 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 Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. <laughs> That's him on the sidelines after he went off. That's hilarious. You gotta play the other one, dude. From Officer and the Gentleman. Oh. That's my favorite. Hello, exactly! Oops. Yeah. <laughs> but I get the right friggin' enough. Don't you do it! Don't! You do it. <laughs> I got nowhere else to go! I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> 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 I've got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta play more of this whole. Uh, that's uh, this is very awkward. I'm sorry, but uh, it was just very. I mean, you know, it's just the who. I, you know, I can't help but be a 14 year old kid out there with the who. Oh, and then it is the who, not the video. Getting molested. Yeah, I guess the video got him going, and right. then the who like just closed the deal. Closed the deal. <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry. You were seeing them live, I guess that was in color? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. they were live on stage, but the black and white was happening on the big screens, too. So, yeah. uh, Through your tears. Wow. So there's uh, two more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at George Delamore. So, so uh, yeah, the lady she hated him, she goes, Through your tears. Through your tears. Uh, disgusted. Listen up. Fucking cry, baby. I, I'd be crying if I had to watch The Who, too, but for different reasons. <laughs> the big screens, too. So, yeah. Uh, through your tears. Well, so there's uh, two more to go here <laughs> oh. uh, at Hyde Park, and the crowd. Like an idiot. I'm sorry, oh, really. Okay. No, no. It's just, hey, look, it's that's just what overwhelming. The, yeah, that's what this. You know, that really is yeah. what this is all about. There are certain yeah. moments that touch everybody. Yeah. 
Wow, Pat from Monaki, holy blubbering faggot, Batman. <laughs> uh, another guy saying, it's funny, Bruce Kelly felt like a 14-year-old boy earlier in the day. Pete Townsend felt a 14-year-old boy. Uh, Howie's checking in saying, I used to cry all the time on the air. Tell him, Fred. Video was a black kid being ignored by white people eating. That's what Ben uh, Ben just handed me that note. Oh, really? Is he kidding or no? No, he's not kidding. Ben doesn't know how to kid. No. Ben's a literal idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so that was uh, that was one of the highlight li highlights of uh, Live 8 Ooh, for us. It's a low light. No, that is horrible. That's a highlight when someone got to get him on the it. phone. Now Ben will come in and will like want to play that video. And he'll go, the coral. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's say hi to Wayno in Boston. Wayno, what's up? Good morning, boys. Wayno from Ashland, Massachusetts, calling. Ashland, I just, nice. Ash, the thriving metropolis of Ashland. Is this the, is this the Wayno? This is the Wayno. How's it going, guys? From back in the day. I kind of remember Wayno. Back in the day, man. Anthony, I jammed with you and your brother a few times on the on the stage of the huge uh, theater of Green Acres Tavern. Green Acres Tavern in Ashland. That's right, how you guys doing, man? The, the local dive in Ashland. I used to That's get right. drunk we, there a we, lot. We had a lot of good times there, man. You still hang out with Paul Marshall? Well, they were times. A absolutely. G's doing afternoons now at AAF. Oh, right on. Tell Got our old hi. gig. Hey, the reason why I'm calling, I just wanted to let you know, is the, this is the reason why myself, Jimmy, and thousands of other people hate the Who. This is because their guitar player searches for child porn on the Internet, and their fans are faggots. Good point, sir. Wow. You've really brought it all together. Certainly <laughs> summed it up nicely. Well, I, I just figured I'd give you a call, man. Hey, I just want to let you know, welcome back, boys. We've been listening to you since day one. Ah, uh, Don in Massachusetts. What's up? <laughs> I got the solution to uh, to all the problems of Live 8. Why doesn't uh, Sting and Madonna and Paul McCartney and all the other publicity whores just write a check for $50 million to the U.S. Treasury? I think uh, I think they, they donate a lot of money. Yeah. I really but do. I think they donate a lot of money. Well, again, how much money can Africa actually owe? A dollar can't. It's got to go pretty far there. <laughs> it's got to go true. pretty far. Pretty far there. Yeah, what debt do they have? This is why the rest of the world hates America, oh, no. and why we didn't get the Olympics. By the way, yeah. Uh, oh, we didn't get it now. No, no Olympics. No, no, we did it's not. Official. Thank you, sir. Between right. Paris and London. Ugh. It's, is it? You got to root for London. You got to root It'll go to Paris because. The, the whole world, that whole voting body, they just hate America. Like, yeah. the world hates us. I'm glad we don't get the Olympics. Who wants us? I know, that's what I we said. We need that. In Queens? Great. The expressway isn't uh, bad ridiculous. enough to get in, in and out of work. Uh, uh, you know, but we're sitting there hoping that we're going to be picked. I, I hate that mentality that we have in America, that we're all just sitting back hoping, oh, are we worthy enough to have the Olympics? Yeah. Like we're hoping to be asked to a prom or something. Give it to that racist anti-Semite uh, city, uh, Paris. Go ahead, do that. Give it to him. But we were Fine. Knocked, we were knocked out this morning. That's between London and Paris. There you go. We're hated as a nation. And again, last time we had it, there was a little bombing incident. Yeah, true. Yeah. Right there, uh, Hawk. <laughs> Still Ixnay on the Olympics, yay. Oh, it is not. Why? Stop it, you drama queen. What's the problem? We uh, can't. He was involved. No, I know, but he, yeah. why can't we? Why, for why some he... reason, he thinks there's some kind of big case pending that he's going to be called as a witness for, and he can't talk about it on the air. He what thinks... do you think they're waiting for? He yeah, think... I know. How he many thinks the FBI been? is still following him. Yeah. Do you think that you're like a, a, a suspect? A <laughs> suspect. He was a victim. Yeah, no, I know. You got like a little injury in the. Uh, well, he we can't say where. I was very injured. Can't say where in '96. I was watching the Olympics. My shoes fell off. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it. All what right. do you think is going to happen? They're going to play this in court? And you're going to lose millions? <laughs> Did you not acknowledge that that was you? Well, yeah. See? Listen to the tape. You might lose tens of dollars. <laughs> you're winning nothing. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe a razor and some shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Barry in New Jersey. Barry, what's up? Did you guys see the uh, HIV Muppet in Philly? No. Yeah, it's called Jim Henson. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the, the Live 8 in Philly, they had this eight, this Muppet with HIV come out and uh, say a bunch of shit. You couldn't understand it from where we were sitting. I just didn't know if you guys had the audio or not. 
All right, we'll try to find that audio. We're still getting our Live 8 uh, audio together, so. Yeah. Thank All you, right, Barry. Cool. Yeah, because. Yeah, punch out, boy. All right. They couldn't understand it because in the middle of the, the AIDS Muppet speech, they were going, give me an E, give me an A, give me a G. Nothing. <laughs> what does EAG mean? Eagles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you dummy. Well, I don't know. <laughs> they never you play Philly all the time. You never heard them chant, give me an E, give me an No, a. they listen when I'm on. Shut oh. up. Oh. <laughs> They did chant that during Pete Corielli, though, when he was... Really? Like, yeah. The Dude, time. they chanted Eagles while I was on those <laughs> bastards. <laughs> That's got to be When you're in Boston, they get the Yankees suck chant yeah. going, too. They love that one up there in Boston. All right, so thumbs up or thumbs down to the Live 8. Did we accomplish anything there? No, not really. Not wish, really? Wish McCartney's set list have been more interesting. What did he do? Just get back again. He plays the same five songs uh, I hear. It's just uh, what he does now. What do you want? He's 70. I you know. know. Uh, the world hates us because the same weekend a hunger concert is happening. We have Pat from Monaki and ten others gorging themselves on meat. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that is the probably uh, uh, point. Is point. Coney Island so hot dog So we had that Japanese contest. guy. We let him in. It's multi-culty. That's right. Multi-culty. He wins every year. The Japanese guy that has like a six-pack uh, stomach yeah. won. And how many did he eat this year? He stopped at 49 or something like that. 49 hot dogs in 12 minutes. Was it 40? So he, he set 40 the record something? last yeah. year at 53. Right. Yeah, he was just uh, short of his record. He did 49. It's guy. amazing that what you can fit into a thalidomide stomach. Um, <laughs> we have one of our guys was in the contest, uh, Colin. Pat really? from Monaki. Pat You'd from never Monaki. know it. They didn't even show him on TV. How did he do? He, uh, I don't know. We he should get him horribly. on the phone. There was a concerted effort to keep him off the uh, TV, too. They put him way at one side, way, way at one side of the competition, so the camera didn't even have to pan him or nothing. And uh, he was next to a guy that was uh, pretty popular, got a lot of press and stuff, and they pulled the camera back just enough to show that guy and not Pat. And then they did this far shot, and you couldn't even see Pat. Yeah, they were keeping him off, off camera. I don't know if it's because they were afraid he might do something for the show or he's just Pat and they were frightened to even put him on TV. Uh, but, yeah, like zero airtime he got. Was he wearing all sorts of Opie and Anthony stuff? No, he had nothing. Oh, okay. He had the shirt that they make you wear, the Coney Island shirt. And uh, I don't think he had a hat on, yeah, did he? you guys should be. Look at, look, look at Arthur Chen now. Uh, <laughs> and can I say to Dead Monkey Hummer, I got your uh, the email. Uh, New York, fuck you, Norton. And that other faggot listener, Pete Townsend was found innocent of those charges. You misinformed cocksucker. And the who, to this day, blow that wet brain mumbling idiot Ozzy, O-Z-Z-S-Y, off the fucking stage. Ozzy Davis. Oh, that's not true. Do Ozzy's profound. Just like witches at black masses, you 12-year-old. I had shocked like me him. when I was five. Well, maybe uh, Ozzy should wear tight pants that show his cock off. Stupid Roger Daltrey, that fucking homoerotic he Brit. He looks damn good after I'm not saying years. it's not big and delicious. I just don't need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of Pete Townsend. You know, the guy was, uh, you know, did, uh, was brought up on child molesting charges. Didn't mean to address it in humor. He was He's researching. Sorry. He was researching right. for a book. Exactly. And I was uh, researching trannies in my car. I call, in the morning. I, yeah, I call him the luckiest man alive that yeah. got off. <laughs> The luckiest man alive, and I'm a Who fan. And they're very strict over there in England. Yeah, something... Uh... Gary Glitter got in Dutch. For, uh... <laughs> Dutch. That's one Gary way to say Glitter. It. Yeah, he, well, the uh... Gary Glitter story is one of our favorites of all time, Ant and I's. Where what a buffoon. Decides to get his uh, computer worked on, and then they oh. found all that stuff on it. Yeah, his computer was broke. He brings it to the computer <laughs> repair shop. They they open it up, and child porn just spills out of the side of it. Oh. <laughs> it was awful, yeah. They they booted it up, and just kitty porn loaded into this thing. There was so much child porn on that computer. It was like, you know, that the, the can of snakes. <laughs> yeah, when he opened that. it up, like little kid photos just Jeez. flying, flying out, out everywhere. They're trying to hit the repair man in the down. face. Right. Would you like some peanut chew and a nine-year-old from Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, Pat from uh, Nokia on line 11 here. Pat. Yes. Welcome. Morning, boys. Congre Where are you going, Colin? I gotta take a piss. Are you going home already? I gotta take a piss. Take a piss. All right, take a piss. Go ahead. Was it, was it something I said? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we'll hold down the fort. You go take a piss. Go ahead, Pat. Pat? Hey, guys. Pat? What's How? going on? Uh, well, I watched the uh, competition on ESPN later that night, yeah. and um, what I saw was uh, uh, a big hoopla being made over a few people, and you were not one of those few. Yeah, I, I was on TV, though. A little couple quick shots there. Quick shots? They completely cut you out of the picture. Yeah. You well, were on the, the, the fucking blimp cam. 
And I don't. E I'm not even kidding. They had a blimp <laughs> over it. Or also known as the Pat Cam. <laughs> <laughs> How many hot dogs did you uh, eat, Pat? I had 20 hot dogs, uh -huh. and I was in 12. I was 12 out of 15 people. Oh. Wow. I was I watching. Ten. Now I I did I did see a couple of shots of Pat, but not close ups. I mean, there were group shots. You got fifteen people there in a line. You know how far you got to zoom out to to yeah, fit fifteen they're, they're people in frame. How about Cleveland? People. Yeah. So I saw Pat. Anyone? And, right. and what I saw was. Let's see. Thanks. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Ian. Was Pat eating hot dogs like dainty? I see these other guys shoving two at a time in their face. Uh, uh, drinking the water, shoving the buns uh, dipped in water in their mouth, and Pat, I see, just nibbling on a hot dog. I don't think your heart was in it. Well, well it's, it's we shouldn't sort of put like it that way. Yeah. It's sort of like a wood chipper. If, if you try and shove a whole log down a wood chipper, it's going to seize up. So you can't you can't eat more than than you can swallow. You're not a wood You're chipper. That's right. God, you only ate 20 hot dogs. Is that your best? So far, yeah, I won the qualifier with 20 and a half. And, oh, and I was try. trying to get to that, at, like at 15, they give you the hot dogs in place of five. And, like, when I got the 15 and they put that other plate down, I was like, Ugh. Oh, really? And I, and I really forced those last five in there. And then, and then I, I was going to uh, take a big bite out of that 20 uh, first hot dog. But, no, no I might, might have rejected it at that point. Oh. And once you puke, all bets are off. Yeah, then you're disqualified. Right, you're disqualified if you vomit. Yeah. Well, Kobe's like like Rance Armstrong of competitive eating. <laughs> Get it? Rance Armstrong. <laughs> Ow. Well, well did you have work. fun, Pat? Yeah. Had a good time. All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to say or? Uh, no. I guess I'll leave on that high note. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Our guy Pat from Monaki came awful. in. 12th place out of 15 with 20 Hard. hot dogs. The, the winner was what, 49? Uh, yeah. 49 hot dogs this year. That's that's unbelievable. And the sodium is the equivalent of the sodium intake for two weeks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, or a couple days for me. Huh. Something like that. Huh. Huh. All right. All right, Pat, you got there nothing. Was. Pat has I nothing. I got nothing. As usual. <laughs> All right, Pat, thank you. All right. What all these live aid concerts? They should have had stand up like Woodstock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I performed for 100,000 people. You make a good point, though. They're, they're doing the Live 8 thing, and we're doing the Coney... We're uh, doing the Coney Island uh, hot, hot dog, dog eating, eating contest in there's America. There's starving African children on a screen uh, over there, and <clears throat> and we have uh, big, fat Pat from Munaki... Hold on. ...shoving hot dogs in his face. Prozac from Whackbag.com. Yes, Prozac. Am I on the air? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just totally crying. I'm like a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> Such a fucking idiot. I'm on with Opie and Anthony. Fucking <laughs> 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 idiot. Yeah. I'm pushing out. All right. <laughs> Hold on there. <laughs> Hang in there, Bruce. Hang in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you just isolate that clip? I want to play it all morning. All morning long. Yeah, just, just the, uh, just the Bruce, Bruce clip. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I, oh. All right, this just in. London will be hosting the uh, 2012 Olympics. It is London. Congratulations to the France. That's good. I want to go over there and see that all their umbrellas and their top hats. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm sure they'll have a, a great time and uh, there won't be any problems. And uh, no, there won't be any. The good thing is there won't be any uh, soccer hooligan riots. Yeah, yeah. And the British don't have any problem with radical Muslim speakers or anything. No, so it no. goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. I think we were pretty arrogant, though. We're we're not even ready for the Olympics in this country, and we were thinking that we actually had a shot. Why? Well, you got Queens. Half the stuff. Got not the World's Fair over there. You see it? We don't great. even know if we can build half the stuff still. Of course we can. <laughs> yeah. You got Shea Stadium over there. Oh yeah. You got the uh, old the World's Fair. It's still holding up. Why isn't wouldn't it? they give it to Africa if you can make money there? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Shea Stadium is the worst. Baseball park in the majors. You don't like Shea? <laughs> oh, it stinks. Yeah. Absolutely. You name a park that's worse than Shea Stadium. And they got the big globe there for the World's Fair. That's kind of impressive. We yeah. blew that Those up. Those big towers no, that are there. We blew that up in Men in Black. Men in Black. Yeah, they got the big UFO towers from Men in Black. We got that going for us. Rotting away there for some reason. We're still so, standing. We're so arrogant. The Olympic Committee is looking at us like, well, where are you going to have it? And then we're just pointing at stuff. Like, you think oh. the whole time they were laughing, going, they don't have a chance in hell. <laughs>
They're arguing over a stadium in Manhattan. Yeah. They can't get anything. They can't get together. All right. Here's Bruce uh, crying a little more. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't help it. I really can't. <laughs> I'm absolutely crying. <laughs> I got to hear from him. Uh, I got to hear from him today. Why don't we take a quick break? Right. Nice surprise, Colin Quinn in studio today. I'm in. Nice. He's in. You in for a few hours? Or what? Oh, I'm in for the for the duration. The He's up this early. He's doing something. He ain't going anywhere. Right. Can All I right. point out, by the way, that the pet battle looks like Dean Edwards. Does anybody knows her oh, shot? Somebody sent us. Uh, what is this? An early picture of Pat Battle, 1977 graduate of uh, Neptune High School. Oof. Neptune, New Jersey. Is it? That's where Nicholson's from, too, I believe. A little bit of uh, Jersey trivia. Class activities listed as Dolphins cheerleaders. She was in the Black Studies Club, Girls Athletic Association. Hmm. And currently, Pat covers television news in Philly and New York. Fully. Pat's mom, Almirth Fully. Battle. Her mother's name is Almirth Battle. Almirth. The Battle of Almirth. Why the obsession with Pat Battle? I don't, I don't know. know. Why not? It's there. I am obsessed with her. All right. I can't stop. I love is. that woman. She's a newscaster. Don't even worry about it, Colin. You, you, you won't get into it. Just she's, like me. She's the alpha and the omega. All right. We'll take a quick break, and we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony program in just a bit here. Running across America. By the way, i got to mention, because uh, my brother's sleeping on my couch. Why? The official Opie and Anthony Pest t-shirts are now available. <laughs> are they? Yeah. Pests. Those are our listeners, Colin. Pests. We call them pests because that's what they are. They're just pests. They will pester and just annoy people. I know you're people. not talking about Lady Di or Marion, though. Well, of course not. God, when was the last time we talked to those well, two? Thank God they haven't called in a while. But basically, the Opie and Anthony Pest T-shirt, It's a, it has the Opie and Anthony Express, um, uh, XM Satellite Radio new logo that my brother came up with, which uh -huh. is awesome. And then it has a, like a huge mosquito on the front that's just annoying as hell to begin with. Pest. And then on the back, you know, you've seen those staff T-shirts. have yeah, clubs staff, and bars, crew. Yeah. Whatever. Well, it just says Pest in really big white letters. I'm sure they will wear it proudly. And uh, they're only going to be available for a couple of weeks, so you got to get a hold of my brother, mm -hmm. Dr. Duck at AOL.com. Doctor, spell that out, D-U-K at AOL.com, okay? And right. I think it's linked on opianthony.com as well. People are uh, emailing over here, instant feedback. Uh, want me to ask Colin about that, uh, that episode with you and the girl that was interviewing you on the news when you accosted oh. her. Oh, that's right. We haven't oh. talked to you. Dude, we played that audio like crazy on our show. And the girl like, jumped on and kind of molested Yeah, her yeah, you molested a woman on television. Uh, what was that in Florida? Wait, do was we have it in the Florida? audio? I know we did. All right, Eric's going to get the audio <clears throat> just so we could uh, bring everyone up to speed. But basically, you were doing your, co you know, yeah, your stand-up. I was trying to make out session. What's the big deal? Where was it, Cleveland or something? Maybe Cleveland. Oh, well, maybe it was Cleveland. I think uh, I remember Cleveland. Well, you know, yeah. I got excited when I was in Cleveland because there was this documentary starring Drew Carey called Cleveland Rocks. It was great. <laughs> so I got a little crazy out there. You got a little crazy, and the girl's interviewing uh, Colin. Yeah. And um, out of nowhere, the interview was wrapping up, and, and you just jumped on her. Uh, you both ended up on the floor, right? And she was kind of screaming, for help. "No!" Or "What are you doing?" Or yeah, screaming for the staff to help her. Oh, you got to ignore those screams. <laughs> <laughs> it really was a, a rape that was going on on the floor. Right? <laughs> yeah, she was screaming for the cameraman to help her or something. If you listen to every scream, you never get laid. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we thought you'd get more play with that. Then um, we thought that video would go everywhere. Nah, nobody gives a damn about me. <laughs> the, uh, but then a couple of weeks ago, O and A is in Reno too, I guess, because I fell off stage and smashed up my leg really badly. And uh, there's some guy afterwards comes up and goes, "I'm gonna call first thing in the morning." So uh, <laughs> you fell off stage? Yeah, I fell. How off do the you do I that? I like a Kelsey Grammer. Uh, yeah, that's the Kelsey it was Grammer. It's too dark, and I was at this stupid spotlight. And I fell right on my. Oh, good lord. <laughs> that's Kelsey. <laughs> oh, good lord. That is a great clip, man. Oh, good lord. That's oh, what I good lord. That's oh, what makes lord. Jimmy laugh every time we play it. Oh, good lord. Love it. That is just a sack of says, potatoes. Good lord. Oh, good lord. So, and you, so you did the same thing? It was dark? Yeah, and you yeah. Just stepped off the stage? stage? Swaggering around, and I fell right on my ear. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say after that? I just lied on the floor of the mic and talked for like five minutes. Yeah. That, that How close did you get to the end of the stage? You're like a casino hack. Hey, where are you from, Tuts? What are you doing? You gambling a little? Casino <laughs> <laughs> Tumbles off. Tuts. <laughs> Tuts. Tuts. 
Hey, Look at that. Give her a week. hand, folks. 82 <laughs> years young. Come on. <laughs> having a lovely weekend, are you, darling? Father. Darling. One time I was uh, at beautiful Mount Airy Lodge many years ago. Ah, we love the Mount Airy Lodge. And this guy goes, uh, the, uh, you know, the tumbler, like the guy that goes, he works like, they, they always play Simon Says. And he goes to the crowd, it's all these old ladies, you know. It was like, you know, old, old people. And he comes out, he goes, and I'll tell you something else, everybody. How about a hand? We don't get many celebrities here. But this is, in my opinion, still the heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Joe Frazier. I'm sorry, lady. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the comics at those places are the best. Uh, great. I saw a, a magician there once. I believe it was uh, the other one. What is that? The Caesars? Oh, up yeah. There. Lance they Burton. Got, they got the Caesars. Maybe it was. Yeah, it was like a real... He's top of the line. Bad magician, where if your your seats are bad and you sit on the sides, unless you're looking at them directly <laughs> head on, you see all the tricks. <laughs> That's really awesome. bad. Then you know you go back and get in that champagne glass and eh, oh. whole night's worth it. Make, Ugh, your, make your, your own guys, foam. Oh. Did you guys still talk to my man that I was talking about the other night from Syracuse? Oh, uh, scorch, scorch, scorch. He can't get enough of scorch. I love you. Guys. Love scorch. I love you guys. Talks of scorch. Scorch. Hey, hey, totally nude radio. Uh, naked uh, kingdom of nude nakedness. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I haven't spoken to scorch we in a love while. Scorch. Used to uh, do radio don't get with the us. Gag away, Colin. Hey, yeah. I won't. <laughs> scorch. I see Patty once in a while. She still stop by. Oh, of course she does. <laughs> now though, she's just compared to what she used to be. Now she's a slut. She's really? the, she's the biggest virgin slut I've ever seen in my life. She'll drop her clothes now. Oh, just dude, we molested her last time she was in. Oh, here. I can't. You think so? It. We molested uh, her. Boy, I don't, I'm not comfortable doing this. We had a pocket pussy with remote control that was strapped to her. Oh, and she Did it work? Well, well, she wasn't into it, so we had everyone pin her back, <laughs> pin her arms and legs back, because she would take it and kind of pull it away from her snatch. So we, uh, yeah, we were kind of naked, really. No, it was over her panties. Oh. But she gets naked. We had her get naked, put find a that crusty audio the clown fast, mask on, and crawl across the floor. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's still a fixture on the show. She slept her life together pretty good, though. Yeah. Compared to what it used to be. She's got a place to live, a yeah. job, and uh, she still hasn't been laid, though. 50 years old. She just had her 50th birthday. Oh. Virgin at 50. How do you do that? There should be more like him. You think so? It's just a good example for the young woman of America. Make this world a better place. Stay chaste, of course. Yes, Opie? I'm You're just, eating? I'm just finishing up my Pop-Tart. You're listening to us jibber-jabber about nothing while you eat your Pop-Tart? Well, you're, supposed to be the, you're supposed to be the skipper here steering this vessel. We, yeah. uh, we just take turns eating, though, Colin. We go well, around let's talk about sex. Sex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I was hoping we'd get that audio, but... I okay. know. That's what we were stalling for, but obviously that's not working out. So we have to move on from the Colin molesting a newswoman uh, story. <clears throat> Should we talk about Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise? People like to talk about that. That seems to be a big issue. I'll tell you no exactly what happened. Yeah. That guy, uh, what's his face, that she went out with Chris Klein? Yeah. He just, like, dazed her with, like, you know, his... You know, whatever. She thought she was getting married, and he's like, look, I met somebody. And she was in a daze, and he just snatched her up. You think she's just the, uh, she's, she's on the rebound? Totally. Using Tom Cruise as the rebound? Give me ten minutes with her alone. I'll have her programmed into my little uh, cult. Well, more and more people are just saying she's uh, in a contract with Tom Cruise, and that's all it is. Yeah. I've read that online, too. But well, they do the blind items, you know, in the paper. You, you, do you uh, enjoy I the try to figure them out at all times. It's fun. It's like a little puzzle. I can never, like figure, it out. I can never it ever fun. figure them out. I'm and retarded. You know who's great at this is Ben. We should get Ben in oh, here. Oh, Ben knows them all. Ben is great because I was reading this yesterday, and I couldn't figure it out. And Ben goes, hey, you, you read that blind item yesterday? I and love he, the blind and item. And he nails who it is, in my opinion. Yeah. Who is it? These who are is just it? opinions. No, oh, well, I'll read the the one the the first one here. Who could have a guessing game? <laughs> oh, Colin Cleveland reporter. Jesus. All right, we'll go back to that in a second because we got Ben in the studio. We got That's Colin Quinn in the studio. Don't. Okay. That was an easy one yesterday. Thanks, Jerry. dude. I read this one and I was I was you know racking my brain trying to figure this out. The and second you, one's and even so easier. And so you walked in and nailed it. Even easier. Ben knows them all. Basically, Better to no brainer. 
Basically, it's a column that they do in the post from time to time when they have enough dirt. That, that's called uh, just asking, and then they, uh, yeah. they they write a little thing, and you have to. Who was that actor yeah, exactly. that we saw leaving? Yeah. So this one is uh, which newlywed husband of a TV personality dropped her off at an award show, and then went on a tour of gay bars in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Listen to this though. What he didn't realize was that the limo driver had to keep a list of every stop. And that when network execs got the limo bill, the list looked like a yellow page ad of gay bars. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, oh guy. boy. Who the hell was it? Well, that's what I was. I was oh, like, who's going to get married? Well, Ben knows. Ben? Star Jones. Her husband. Uh, ben ben believes point. it's Star Jones. Ben, ben believes my it's opinion, Star Jones. You know, right. And her husband, uh, whatever his name is. It's not her, his opinion. He'll back it up in court. <laughs> That's and the right. Second one, the ben second one. swears before God <laughs> and man. <laughs> ben is saying. The second, one, <laughs> yes. the second one, read the second one. That's another easy one. Well, this is the one that, uh, yeah, this has been circulating for a while. Which leading man, I, I, I this was obvious, huh? Uh, which leading man landed his fiance by giving her a five-year contract for $10 million? Now she's giving an Oscar-worthy performance, acting as if she really is in love with him. Mm, well, we, right. we read that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. And then what? Uh, do you know the third one, Ben? No, I just couldn't do that. Which foreign-born uh, sports phenom lies about his age? Though he landed a multi-million-dollar sneaker deal as a 14-year-old, whispers are he's oh. closer to 20. It's that soccer kid. The black soccer kid. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So there you have it. No records of his birth or anything like How that. How funny is that, Savages. though? Man. I heard Fat yeah. Nick grabbed his sneakers off me. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? He grabbed the white boy. All right, we're going to go back to the phone and uh, say hi to Dave in Arizona. Dave, what's up? What's going on, guys? You tell us. Hey, uh, I know uh, Anthony was watching that uh, VH1 broadcast, uh, uh, and I was wondering if he, see, if he was watching with the Who was playing Who Are You? They actually uh, messed up and didn't bleep out the word fuck when they said, who the fuck are you? Yeah, and they, they left it in, man. They're rebels, man. And then in the background, if you're listening real carefully, you hear somebody say, oh, shit. Oh, really? Yeah, because I guess they had somebody sitting there with a button, and every time somebody was cussing like in the rap songs and all, they just bleep it out real quick. It's just time they, to they allow... to do that. It's just time to allow fuck on regular TV. Who are we kidding? Yeah. Arthur Chen agrees with you wholeheartedly. Yes, that was pretty funny. I'm punching out. We got to protect everybody by making sure the word "fuck" doesn't make it on TV. Are you I saw kidding believe Madonna. Me? She said a curse word, and they. She does that though. She doesn't play by the rules. Oh, she's <laughs> such a rebel! <laughs> such a rebel! You sign her up, you got to take what you get, man. That's right. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> I'm I'm a bad friend. I just realized. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, yeah. Scorch is on the phone. Oh, Scorch is on the line. Ah! <laughs> we get Scorch. Hey, Scorch. Hey guys. What's up, Scorch? Long time. Long time no uh, wow. not here. We're on the XM satellite radio now. Of I course. love it, man. We say that we say the F word in our station too, but <laughs> yeah. But no one can. I love listening to you guys. Just to, uh, to hear you guys say a couple of curse words is nice. Isn't that uh, what it's all about? Scorch, oh, man, it's amazing. What's up with you guys, man? I, I'm going to tell you. We have Colin Quinn in the studio. He absolutely loves when you're on our program. Thanks, Colin. Nice What's up, Scorch? <laughs> I guess because we have the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the ref and That's what they enough. say, but I don't know. Scorch, no. this is your first appearance on the brand new uh, Opie and Anthony program. Uh, and I miss it, and I get emails from everybody all the time still to this day, like, when are you going to go on again? Why not? And uh, so it's nice to be here, ONA Army. All right, so uh, what have you been up to, Scorch? Uh, same thing. Still working in Syracuse, loving life. <clears throat> as much as you can love Syracuse, that's all. You're doing uh, morning radio in Syracuse? I, I'm a morning radio disc jockey in Syracuse, playing the... Uh... Are, are you on right now? <laughs> yeah, we're on right now. <laughs> what, uh, what station are you on there? Uh, Rock 105, The Dog in Syracuse. <laughs> He's got, on The Dog. I'm on The Dog now. I got off the crap, and uh, now I'm on The Dog. What the hell is the dog? Is it like uh, classic rock that really rocks, or is it like more heavy metal? Like, what's the what's the deal with the dog? We're classic rock that wants to rock, but <laughs> but because it's the classic rock we play, it doesn't rock that well. <laughs> oh Jesus! So you play a little Foghat, do you? Uh, actually, Foghat's playing right now, followed by. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my God! Are you followed kidding? By Tom Cochran, Life Is a Highway. Into uh, I have uh, borderline from Madonna too, so it's all good. Oh well. There you go. <laughs> do, you, do you still do the Kingdom of Nakedness? Uh, it's now the Naked Militia, and yeah, it's all good. 
I stole your The naked name. militia. <laughs> I make no bones about it, man. You guys are popular. You get ratings. So I know what to Dude, do. That is great. The naked militia. I we got to ba- hold on. We got to back up. A- Anthony and I worked with Scorch at WAF back in the day. And, with uh, who? Dave Dickless. With Dave right. Dickless, who yeah. didn't who didn't understand us and certainly didn't understand Scorch. Uh, well, uh, Scorch, explain how Dave uh, Dickless fired you for the new uh, listeners. Oh, I love it. Dave Dickless pulled me in. First of all, Owen A can uh, vouch for this. The guy, when he was lying, would never look at you face to face. Yep. When he was lying, he would look up into the sky. He's a typical program director in radio, by the way. That's why I hate all program all directors in radio. God bless you. So he pulls me in and says, uh, just so you know, uh, you, uh, you're not going to be here forever. I'm like, okay, well, how long am I going to be here? By forever, I mean 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he says, well, well, it was like uh, the first week of September. You can stay till the end of September. I'll stay till the end of September. Why? What's up? Uh, here's what he did. He says, hamburgers. Your pizza. <laughs> right now, I want a really good hamburger. Now, if I wanted pizza, I'd go to you because you are the best pizza man in the business. But I want a burger, so get out. <laughs> and it's like, dude, that's a very professional way to he camp. Got fired head. by 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 saying that he's pizza with and, a bad food analogy. And the program director was looking for a hamburger. At least he said he was the best pizza in the business. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, and I agree. And, and as far as pizza goes, but, I'm good man. Besides that, though, one of the first times. You know, Anthony and I were driving to the station to start our little uh, little show at WAF. We're listening to this guy Scorch because we followed you at first because we were, uh, you know, trying to figure out the whole deal. Yeah. And yeah. we're driving in together. I remember like it was yesterday, yeah. and uh, this guy's on the air, Scorch, pretty much talking about how he's completely new, <laughs> doing nude radio. It's the oh, kingdom of nakedness. Yeah. And Anthony and I are driving like, are we going to show up at the radio station and some dude's yeah. going to be naked? Yeah, be naked in our chairs. tunes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's not naked. No, that's the that's the that's the clever uh, ruse. Yeah, that's the radio shtick of it all. Right. Oh uh, yeah. And then he went to you know the kingdom of nakedness uh, in Syracuse, now it's naked and, and now it's the naked <laughs> militia. <laughs> and how how does that uh, how does that play out on the air? Oh, it's great. People love it. We have uh, over ten thousand members of the naked militia. And you can go to <laughs> thenakedmilitia.com, dot com, and uh, I want to see all of your new uh, all of your new XM people sign up for the naked militia. Oh, you'll see them all oh, right. But that. what do you get if you join up for the naked militia? Dude, I work for Clear Channel. You get nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, no nude pictures. Uh, yeah, you get so, nude yeah. pictures, but the nude pictures of me back at WAF. So that's great. Uh, but everyone is signing up. I mean, you got to give them something yeah, for we, joining we, the naked militia. We give them movie passes and. Uh, and uh, books and matches and stuff that we steal from restaurants. We don't have prizes, man. No, no, uh, like naked militia cards yeah, that you we, send we out. Have, we, we actually have a whole set of uh, merchandise coming up soon. So it, you need uh, a membership card. There's no no use joining something if you're not going to get I a membership get card. Well, get so one do of I. To give me a membership card. I told. I want to get a naked militia memorabilia. Call it. You you sign up the nakedmilitia.com. I'll send you stuff personally, Colin. Because Thanks. What kind of we share voices? Colin loves this part of uh, you. What kind of radio have you been doing these days? Uh, I do sucky radio, uh, but uh, the ratings show it, and that's cool. I'm an old man. I get paid now to do sucky radio. I put in my time. <laughs> no, I mean, but uh, you know, like you, uh, you were one of the DJs that like had a broadcast until like the you know the, the truck was filled with canned food for Thanksgiving, that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, I'm trying not to do stuff like that anymore. Uh, I try not to do anything that is actually a stunt because I am getting old and uh, I don't have the patience. <laughs> but for that does clear does clear channels to let you bring on the midgets and all that stuff? Yeah, we do. We still do that. Yeah, we have midgets. We uh, we have a deaf guy, a blind guy as interns, and uh, oh. that's always fun. Handicap is always fun, you know. Oh. Well, we we learned that lesson a long time ago. All right, Scorch, uh, not not much of an update, I gotta tell you. Well, no. you know, there's not much going on right now. You know what I mean? We do. Uh, we have our Naked Militia Road Show, which will bring anywhere in the country if you want. That's uh, we have freaks that. Uh, uh. How about the guy that uh, eats his own puke? And he's other people's puke. That's wow, that's pretty good. But what do you do on your actual show? I mean, the music's playing, and you're you're doing radio for another radio show. Well, right now, I just put in sweepers because your show counts. <laughs> I'd rather be on your show than my show. What can I tell you? <laughs> the truth be known, I'm, I'm being God on it. Uh, we just do a lot of... We uh, go outside and smoke pot during the songs. <laughs> can we listen to you do a live break, maybe? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna have a live break in two and a half minutes, so all right, all you right. can you can hear us do a live break and, and yeah, what Scorch does. Who's that guy laughing in the oh, background? That, that's Polly. He's my lover slash sidekick. 
Oh, really? Oh, did he tell you that guy's answer? I said, yeah. Uh, no, I'm just, he's actually just my, my side. Paul, Paulie said hi to O&A. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, how you doing? All right. Yeah, they don't care about me. No, they don't. They don't even care about me. This is just radio stick for them, too. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Don't. So, yeah, we got like two and a half minutes. What's up with you guys? You still do the same thing? Um, Except you get to talk the way you want to talk. And I think that's a beautiful thing. You shouldn't have got candy other place for saying your mind and doing what they paid you to do anyway. Well, thank you. Thank you, Scorch. I believe that. Honest to God, as much joking as we do, I firmly believe that you guys got It's like Rickles. He brings it around. You know, we joke, but honestly. Yeah, if, if they hire you to do a certain thing, and this goes for any job, anybody listening, if your boss hires you and then gives you shit for... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some mercy, Kelly. <laughs> Wait, we want to hear him do his break, though, don't oh, we? Oh, All right, God. call Scorch back. Tell him to stop kissing her ass. Oh... I thought he made a good point. No matter what the job is, you know, you got to... Your boss hires you. you know? Hey, you know, <laughs> just get through. Now you can explain why you love Scorch, Colin. I know. I love him because I just love the, you know, the whole thing of it. It's just like when I first met Lady Di and Marion. I just had that feeling. It's like, you know... He's just there in Syracuse doing radio. No, it's just like if you see, if you, if you, if you see somebody getting, like, beaten in the street... Yeah. You know, and it's just like sickening, but it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> right now he's going into humble pie. Uh, he sounds like a beaten man, though. There was a time I know. Scorch really believed in what he was doing. He no. was doing a lot of hacky type radio, but he believed but in it. But we all get jaded. Yeah, no, he's as he's jaded as the rest he's of us. He's now a beaten man. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, here he is. Oh, come on. Just throw him on. Thank you. Scorch. What's up, man? Sorry about that. So, you, okay. when are you breaking? I'm breaking in 50 seconds. So, why don't you uh, just hold on just a couple seconds, and I'm gonna. Well, why don't you make your point? I don't know what happened with the phone there. Oh, I, oh, my point was that uh, even that if. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are the worst. What's going on here? I hear weird things happening. <laughs> what, what happened, Scorch? Uh, the whole thing was if if somebody hires you to do your job and they were paying you to. Hold on one second, and let's get this break going. Hang oh. on, we're going to be live. All right. The Syracuse, you guys are. You're lucky, man. All right, here we go. We get to hear Scorch doing a live break in Syracuse, New York. <clears throat> this is why regular radio sucks, by the way. He'll prove our point. <clears throat> oh. Syracuse is rock station. It is the best of classic rock and the best new rock. Ozzy. Time after time. Uh, it's Rock 105, the dog. And it is 20 minutes after 8, and we're looking at 73, going up to about 77. Uh, does Andy yeah. have more than one song? Well, that's the only one we play, because... <laughs> Shoot yourselves. Holy crap. Kickbacks, don't you know? I think that the, uh, Kill the big guy in charge is a Cindy Lauper fan. He thought originally when he saw Time I mean, After I mean, Time, he like, Cindy Lauper playing, he's just pissed <laughs> off and lazy. Oh, now that geez. it's Ozzy, he doesn't uh, do his job, and he doesn't take it out, because he's just a lazy slob. But he gets paid more than we do. Bad music. Oh. For Christ's sakes. His cleaning person at McDonald's gets paid more than we do. Uh, it's Rock 105, the dog. On the way today, live with the militia. We still have more. Militia. Where the hell are they now Wednesday, including... Uh, Where the hell are they now Wednesday? Uh, free, all right now. And, and uh, yeah, I don't remember. Lighted by the light, I think. Man for man, man. Also, the gay play of the day today. Everybody always jokes about gay music. Oh, we don't know that. Yeah, that's gay. You say, that's gay. Oh, that's queer. But you know the words, don't you? So the game play of the day today has to do with the uh, village people. The and you were singing along when we were... But we're not going to do YMCA, though, because everybody knows that one. So that's on the way, plus whatever that's else you want. People. You know, it is your phone show, your listener-driven phone show, live with the naked militia. And uh, <laughs> it is the Syracuse's rock station. What? Without seeing the computer, can I guess what we have coming up next? Yeah. Pink Floyd, Zeppelin, and some Three Doors Down. Close enough, uh, Eric Clapton, Guns N' Roses, and SDP. This is like, this is like the elephant graveyard we're listening to, where jocks go to die. Well, Syracuse, New York. No shit. Wow. So that was radio in Syracuse. Wow, Scorch, that was fascinating. What's the gay play of the day? Uh, just what we said. We play a, everybody always jokes about gay music, so we play a band that's predominantly gay, and then we let people sing along to it, because everybody knows the words to gay songs. But ah. who's gay besides those people? Queen? <laughs> Oh, Queen, uh, Billy Squire. Judas Priest. Uh, Judas Priest. Oh, by the way, this is just a legend, so if anybody's listening, I don't want to be sued for slander. Uh, Judas Priest. Uh, um, Boy George. Boy George, yeah, stuff like that. Billy Squire's a mo? Yeah, you didn't know that. No. No. 
Uh, Billy Squire, he got his name because... Billy of, Squire, uh, shit day. He uh, lost his whole credibility because he did that video where he was on the pink uh, uh, silk uh, bed. Oh, really? Yeah, the way he was Didn't crawling that. in that video, you couldn't tell? I don't know oh, the video. That video was... That's why Lonely Was the Night, because his gay bar closed. Lonely <laughs> Was it? Because <laughs> my gay bar was so I do like the fact that you guys play Time After Time. That's a good song. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Ozzy's version is oh, pretty good. Are you kidding me? Not 72 times a day, it ain't. But no, that's true. Morning, Scorch, though. send a tape to uh, Charlie Logan at the Boneyard on XM. You'd be perfect. No doubt, man. we got to get you out of Syracuse. Yeah, you, I'll tell you what. You will have that. All right. I will definitely do that. And you know what? It's been a pleasure being on your show. Thank you, Scorch. And uh, thank you for letting us do that. We appreciate it. And it's good talking to you. Call it. All right, Scorch. <laughs> First of Scorch all, how gone. perfect was it that they the next song to prove the who Ozzy argument was an Ozzy song? No, uh, they, they played it. First shut of all. your mouth. No, take it. you're not paying attention because they played it earlier. They're coming up was Clapton and yeah, Guns but they and Roses. said they played the Ozzy, and I was so happy. Yeah, me too. Because uh. it's your peers. Why? Well, I happen to like uh, a good Ozzy song. Yeah, you and Scorch. Colin, know what we do on this show from time to time is uh, we span America to listen to bad radio. Yeah, people t uh, driving around take their cell phones. And uh, whatever city we they're in. We love the bit, but the listeners don't really do it well yeah. yet. They put on their favorite nuts. morning show and then put the uh, phone by their radio, and we listen in on some of these great morning radio shows. And all shows. the hacky bits oh. they're doing, like gay play of the day. Gay play of the day. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we ought to play that. We ought to steal that from Scorch to see how it works. What, uh, and what do we do? Sing along to a gay song? Yeah, you put on a gay song, and like then a, a gay listener. Artist? Yeah, and a listener sings along to it. Get it? No, I don't either. You know what I would do? Yeah. If I had my own radio show, I'd uh, have everybody go into like you know some kind of like a one of those uh, furniture stores like Ethan Allen and uh -huh. jump on the couch like Tom Cruise. Oh, like Tom Cruise did on a Oprah. Oh, that'd be funny, right? right? That'd yeah. be hysterical. All right, what well, would the store do? You know, uh -huh. would they kick you out? Would uh, you, you know listen to the guy trying to explain what he's doing? Oh. Yeah. Be great. And you play risky like uh, uh what's the the song they played risky business? All oh, right. The uh, stupid Bob Seger song in the Old background. Old time rock and roll, or the Top Gun theme, something like that. Something cruisish. Sorry, let's say hi to Josh and PA. Josh, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey. Scorg said, uh, "Where the hell are they now? Wednesdays? Is he giving out W T H A T N W bumper stickers?" <laughs> 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 yeah, I forgot. It's Whip 'em Out Wednesday today. Yes, it is. Because we had the long weekend. It's uh, it's Wow today. Yes, Whip 'em Out Wednesday. You can get your official Wow stickers by going to opianthony.com. You basically get the Wow in your car, and uh, ladies will uh, flash you if they feel like it. Yes, they will. Happens all the time. We hear from people almost every day. So, there you have it. Uh, we're going to Indiana. Jeff, what's going on? Not much. How are you today? Pretty hey. good. We got Colin Quinn in studio. He surprised us today, and we couldn't be happier. How you doing, Colin? Hi, Jeff. Um, the Bob and Tom Show, uh, I used to be an avid listener, but I haven't actually listened to them for quite a long time. Uh, I still have it in my dialed in in my radio here if you guys want to hear some of it. <laughs> have you ever done the Bob and Tom Show, Colin, no, over the years? Haven't. Oh, boy. Where is it, L.A.? Uh, they're, Midwest. They're the kings of, like, uh, middle market uh, America. Midwest. See, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. We love to do this every so often, but people's phones suck. Your phone is making a weird noise. Yeah, Jeff, I don't know if we can go to you. We might. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. It's actually at, at a commercial, believe it or not. The same of course it is. Of course it, is. of course it is. We love doing this bit, but we just can't figure out how to make it work. Maybe what we need to do is have the listeners like tape their favorite program and send in you know quick MP3 files. Yeah, that's a good idea of uh, the section that's really hacking. Yeah, and then you can get the best sections. The exactly. Best. See? But if it was our favorite program, we wouldn't be listening to the opening Anthony show. Opening Anthony. Or Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> All right. Your phone stinks. Jeff, I think we're going to punch out. Cause if, we're going to oh. punch out just because if we're going to do the bit, we got to make it work for once, okay? This phone is awful. All right, we're going to go uh, backwards a little bit. Do we have the Stalker Patty clip? The Stalker Patty being molested, Colin. You oh, yeah. Yeah. So basically, this, these girls came in with sex toys, and, and Stalker Patty came in. We got her naked again, like Anthony said. She gets naked all the time. Yeah, great. And uh, we strapped on this, like, uh, pocket 
pussy thing. Like, it's like a vibrator that goes over. It was a butterfly that goes over your snatch. Right. And Not inside. Just go over. <laughs> and Anthony, you. Anthony had the remote control, I guess, right? Yeah. And Anthony was uh, turning it on and off and the making wireless it remote faster, control. slower, that whole deal. Oh, I love mm -hmm. it. And she was hating it, so we pinned her arms back and uh, molested her. Listen uh, to this. Good. All right, just All lay right. down. Just, just lay on it. Lay down. What's going to happen? Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Nothing. All, right, all right, get the gas get and the matches. Should I, should I hit it? What's what? Happen? Nothing. You panicking. You're, relax. You're, you're, you're all relaxed, though? You're 50 with a mullet. It's all right. <laughs> What's the matter, Patty? Let it go, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Put it back. All right. Put it back. Put it back. Jeez, it's stop, it's stop. Not. Just leave it there. You're leave it. Right. Absolutely crazy. Hold now, on. You ready? No. It might hurt a little bit. <laughs> is it, is what are you doing? It, is it working? Oh my God! This is something. Ah, this is something you do in privacy, not something you do in front of people. She's right. There you go. Uh, there's better clips, but that was a, that was a quick home. one. I love it though. I want to I want to hear the one where she's like uh, begging us to stop and saying I I don't want to do this I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, get that clip, Eric. All right, and we got to go uh, even even further back. We got Colin Quinn on that uh, TV show, molesting oh, the report. Cleveland. Just so we could uh, bring everyone up to speed. Yeah, we got we got this clip and we had a lot of fun with it for a while, and now you're finally in here. Here it is. Let's uh, we got a graphic that says when you're going to be on. So. Uh... Oh. Friday and Saturday, we're 8 o'clock and 10.15. Yes. All right. And there's the number for tickets, 696-4677. We'd like oh, to... Alicia, I'd like to... I, I forgot to tell you. Oh, we're not on camera anymore, huh? Oh, Alicia. Oh! Oh, Janita! <laughs> I mean... Oh, wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> Mike! The rape. Yeah. She's like a normal news lady. I know. And she's it's laughing sad. uncontrollably, uncomfortably, and, and then you both fell on the floor together. What's she's yelling out to her cameraman. What's more of a rape, do you think? Me doing that to her or me after 20 years in comedy going, yes, 8 o'clock and 10.15. <laughs> <laughs> They're both equally violated, oh. in my opinion. How did that uh, end when uh, it went off? What, what did she, she say? She was fine with yeah, it. Yeah, she was fine. She didn't care. She was cackling away. Yeah. But no. how they really ended happily when two smash it shows. <laughs> you know, it's funny you should mention two shows in Cleveland. Oh, because no. July 23rd, I happened to be doing the uh, the Odeon. First show sold out, but the second show you can go to Ticketmaster you and get tickets. You still get tickets? You oh, sure boy. can, Carl. Oh. What time is that second show happening? 10.30. 10.30. Why are you pimping for him? Because he understands. He knows the struggle. He sure does. <laughs> I know the struggle. I was interrupted uh, because we went into a few things, but I just realized I'm a really bad friend. You know, uh, Jimmy and I tend to take our bathroom breaks together, uh -huh. and we usually have a little chit chat about our our uh, personal lives. Yeah. And uh, Jimmy's all excited at the urinal, basically telling me that all his tests came back negative, which is a big deal. You should announce that to the world. Not just the AIDS one, but then I finally got the syphilis and chlamydia. Yeah. So I'm very, oh, you got an Opie and Anthony sign on the uh, Today Show. Nice. Oh, there it is. There we that are. Katie Couric, another awful outfit. She should be executed. There Anthony, it is. Anthony, you look like Voss in that picture. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that correct? Hi. Hi. An assault on the midi, uh, media is going down as we speak. The Opie and Anthony spread the virus sign. Spread the Don't virus. Sign. It's right behind Tell that uh, boob Katie. to lower it. <laughs> Uh, hence the word pest. We're going to take credit around. for it. That's there there we go. There's, a, there's a black Asian woman uh, with very natural looking hair. Maybe you could run behind her. That hasn't been processed. <laughs> that was very good. Who was that? Danny? Danny ran down there today and good got a, uh, an assault on the media and good. on the Today Show. Very good. That's some good exposure, huh, for the radio Bravo. Program? Very funny. Anyway, so uh, Jimmy's in the bathroom, and he's telling me that he's negative on all his tests, and I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Wouldn't I'm like, me. couldn't you take one for the team and be positive in one thing? Just a little chlamydia, maybe? What, what other he tests? Has he taken the hep C test? Oh, yeah. You do hep C? Um, I've done hep, but not this time. But thanks for reminding me. the hep test? Uh, what is that? 
How the hell do I know? I'm not a doctor. Hepatitis? Well, yeah, I don't have hepatitis. They tested everything. And isn't chlamydia like more a, a chick thing? No, oh. it's not. That's a funny misconception. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, but I get tested for gonorrhea, syphilis, everything. Because yeah. I'm going out to L.A., so you want to have your papers. Have your papers. The papers yeah. in order when you leave the country? No. When, no. When he enters so if you the can porn bang, porn, bang porn chicks, if you have papers, they'll let you bang them. Oh, is that what happens? Yes. Are you going to bang a porn chick? Let's hope so. Is that what they do? That you have to show them your papers? Absolutely. They test once a month in the business. I mean, I mean, maybe they'll give me a little leeway. Oh, I mean, that's the thing. It's a safe in the world. Are you going to go on a porn set, though, and hope for the best? I don't want to I don't want to do it on a porn set. No. No, you want to make, make a movie? movie? Not ruin your career? Absolutely not. Be hung like an atrophied knuckle. But the... <laughs> But I, I don't I don't think I gave you the reaction you were looking for. Not at all. There was no reaction. I was just t I was commenting. Like, I was like, oh, great. That's that. Well, you, you got to think of the show. Something. Yeah. I was thinking show first. That's all. I was, too. I was kind of thinking. You were hoping, it. right? Yeah. Wanted a little something. Hoping a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That all he's right. got uh, the chlamydia. Something curable. Not even HPV. What? HPV. The what? What is the HPV? What the? Is it the warts virus? Oh. The white virus? Warts. Warts virus. I don't have that either. What the hell is a warts virus? Pampelona. <laughs> right. Look, what is it called? Papillona? The bottom line is you should do something with the porn set because that's the only time you're going to get on the air. Oh. CK's cutting you out. No, Louie's a big Shut fan. Up. You'll be back in nah, six I weeks. I'll oh. be, doing, uh, be doing some filming out there. Yeah. You know how it is, little show. Yeah. HBO. Yeah. All Very right. Nice. Thank God you're not studying acting. You're going to the gym because that's what you're hired for, your look. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy's getting in shape for his HBO show. Yeah, that's what they hide you. So you look, hey, Jim, you look good on the set. Awful. Oh. Why don't you take a class or two? No, I'm going to be taking them all through uh, all July and possibly August. Cause we're going to go out to September now. So. What class? I just uh, brushing, brushing up on my acting. Really? Brushing up. Yes. We're not losing the first you. coat. We're not losing you until September now? <laughs> I don't acting know yet. lessons. Dancing <laughs> lessons. I was going to make him a big star. He had the fattest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> We're not losing you until September? I, I'm not sure, but I, that's the rumor I heard was early September, but it could be wrong. All right. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. <laughs> all right, I want... Could Eric come back in here? What do we need from him? I, I want to go to break. Uh, we can play something from Live Aid as we go to break. But right. I happen to be a very fine actor, and I resent any other implications. <laughs> of course you are. You guys want to hear Sergeant Peppers? Who did this? Well, that Obviously was... Obviously uh, Paul McCartney, but... Paul McCartney and what, Bono? Bono could. got together and did a little performance. Did he stand on a stool? Huh? Little short fucking left wing twerp. Hey, by the way, Colin, you're on two radio shows at the same time today. Ron and Philly, go ahead. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, Ron. Got a uh, Colin Quinn. He's on Howard Stern show right now. <laughs> oh, what is he on vacation? <laughs> Yeah. He's playing best yeah, of and Colin's funny. on it. There you go. Yeah, at least they made the best of. <laughs> That's guys, not bad. You guys want to hear this? Yeah, let's hear Colin on another radio show as he's doing our show live today. You gotta turn it up, bro. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to do it with you here. And he goes, do you want me to hold you? And I'm like, you'll hold me? And I went, oh, that was my famous priest story. I, I don't oh. really want that. I did not want that. But you say you, you experimented with that. Uh, so you didn't go with that night? Is that what you trying to I, say? I didn't. Oh. I didn't. Oh, I'm humiliating. <laughs> you're embarrassed. Maybe, maybe Chappelle could edit his sentence. I'm sure. Show me Chappelle a, was there. Show me on Dave Chappelle oh. what you did with your hand. Yeah. What are you talking about, Dave? Come on. Oh, I'm going to touch Dave. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wow, they're That's... ripping me off literally, Robin. All right, thank you, Ron. Not much going right, on but... there. There you go. Look at you all over the place this morning. I'll tell you, it's a media of, uh, circus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blanketing the industry. <laughs> all right, we're going to go to break with the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band thing uh, from Live 8. Paul oh, McCartney yeah. and Bono uh, do a little something something here. Check it out. <laughs> they know freaks. No. Did he say Opie and Anthony HQ or something like HQ, that? HQ, Opie, as I salute. ONA headquarters. Ugh. Reporting from ONA headquarters, this is Opie. I call you guys the ONA militia. The yes. ONA naked militia. Naked militia. Let's all just get naked. The kingdom oh. of nude. Kingdom of nakedness. Kingdom of nakedness. I blew it. Uh, let's say hi to Theo in Virginia. Theo. Hey, 
there. Say hi to Colin Quinn, will you? He got up nice and early to show hi, up. Theo. Colin, it's so good to hear you. I missed the show, buddy. All Thanks, right. Theo. So what's going on? Uh, I have my own radio show here in uh, Virginia, and y'all were talking about listening to Wacky Radio. I just finished editing a whole bunch of stuff on this, so uh -oh. I figured I'd play it for you. Oh, what 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 radio? Is it college radio? Uh, well, it's AM radio, but uh, I've actually been on some clear channel stations and stuff and done morning zoos and all that awful stuff. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's hear, uh, well, what show are we listening to? It's called The Worst Radio Show Ever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We had, see, we had a public access TV show called The Worst Television Show Ever. Ah, to yeah. the radio, and you were this thinking maybe you get the worst off. movie ever. Right. Yeah, sure. All right, let's hear it. We'll write the book. All right, here it is. Yeah. The Worst Radio Show Ever. We are. It's definitely what we are. Well, oh, boy. it's been an exciting weekend. It was July 4th. We have lots to talk about because uh, it was July 4th. Everybody did exciting things. What did you do for July 4th, Ashley? I got drunk. You got drunk? That's what a lot of people do on July 4th. Uh, you I was swimming. <laughs> drinking and swimming. What a safe combination. Well, the name swimming. definitely fits. Swimming. Wow. We could have washed it to a mudslide, it sounds like. Troy, what did you do for your weekend? Uh, I got drunk and I uh, went to work. Wow. I uh, I feel left out. I did some drinking over the weekend. I uh, I considered it at one point. That isn't even so bad. It's good, kind of. That it's right. just Sometimes that is, stuff is really bad. That is just that horrible. Good, right? right. I got gotcha. you. Uh, we got the audio of uh, Starker Patty. This is the one where we're molesting the shit Ow. out of her. Finally, you're right, Colin. Are these for me? I like these. I guess. Oh, I Steve C. Uh, brought those in. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, I love more that. porn. Oh, like, like violent videos and stuff. That's you know. You like that stuff? I love it. It's like the sex stuff. Really? I like yeah, the fights. I don't, don't need it to be violent or anything. I need the fights. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of fight videos? Well, this is like almost illegal. You know, fights in parking lots and stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. things like that. Yeah, that's funny. No, that's, that's yeah. like chicks that are young. There's not chicks. It's guys fighting. No, there's more not than that. Not on that. girls. Yeah? There's more than that in those videos. Well, it's, it's almost this violent, sexy video will shock you. It's probably a couple of tits popping out during girl fights or something. Yeah, awful. but I like to see the fight fights. Steve, what what are these videotapes about that uh, Colin has in his hand? They're um, there are a lot of fight, a lot of street fights, a lot of yeah. Cat are they fights. real? Yeah, no, they're real. I guess they're, they're operating great. under the principle that if it happens in public, you can videotape it and yeah. you you can own it. There's and, a lot of these around. And it, there's a company out on the on the West Coast sent those in, and it's just a lot of street how fights, a lot they, of like. But how are they just walking around catching fights? Everybody's so got a camera these days. Everybody's got, got a video camera, but it's you know it's like if you look at the crowd that's got this kid, it's a bunch of drug, like yeah. gratuitous drug using teens or yeah. you know twenty year olds, twenty somethings college students, cholos and stuff, fights, yeah, smashing each other's faces in. They probably get them off websites too, or have people send them in. It's not the same guy video too. Yeah. Now a lot of them, I have the same people in them. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's like in it's England, okay. they slap people in the street, slap happy. You ever heard of yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know Slap Happy for another reason. Really? Yeah, it's another video collection. Steve, why don't you explain Slap Happy to Colin Quinn? Slap Happy, the American a, version. Yeah, Slap Happy was a, a series of porn videos by uh, a friend of Jimmy's and mine named Brandon, who uh, was basically slapping women in the face <laughs> as he got head. Yeah, as as he got head, and make, spelling, make, making them uh, have the c word on their forehead as they're giving head. That's why we lost the Olympics, by but the wait way. Wait a minute. So yeah. Slap Happy. Yeah. And they're slap happy. But she'd slap them while they're blowing him. That sounds very dangerous. No, nah, but he, he's an animal. He would pull out, they pull out of their mouth, slap them in the face, oh. and plunge that monster back in until they threw up. But Smack if he was really a monster, monster, he'd leave it in there and slap them and take his chance. Yeah. Oh, he would do it. He, he got bit many times. They puke. He you know what they say? Puke. Once bitten, tw twice shot. Now, whose videos are these? Do you put them in front of me because I got to have them or are you trying to give me? You can have them if you want. Oh, now, he, now it just feels really? weird like they weren't for you. <laughs> I yeah. do. They're, they're so not for you. That That's Steve's only copy, but he has no, no, I no way of telling you. Is that, that your that only copy? They sent the, they sent to the show. They're, so they're not mine. How many did they send? Just those two. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you just tell so Colin? Why, yeah, why don't you tell Colin? Why don't you just have our only copy? copy? Being polite. Oh, did you want I'm sorry. I, I don't know. You guys usually don't like this stuff. I called Thank Ben you, last exactly. night. I'm the one who brought it up. Nobody even thinks about it. <laughs> exactly. But don't you want to go through it for the show maybe or bring it home for yourself? Sure. If you would like, we can go through them. Can I have a, okay. Ask him uh, for his no. wallet. I'll probably give it to you, Colin. <laughs> no. Jesus. All right, let's give uh, the Stalker Patty audio a listen. Oh, here. yeah. I wish I had the video of this, too. Yeah, hot. But basically, again, this is us forcing uh, Stalker Patty to, uh, <laughs> to, get another to try out this remote-controlled vibrator where Anthony was holding the remote and she was getting stimulated in her, I don't know, it was in her panties or something. 
<laughs> Leave You're it. absolutely right. crazy. Hold now, on. You ready? Tie our hands. Oh, God. God. All right, don't hold on, worry, hold on. Because we don't want you to, to, to take the thing off. Yeah. Relax. It's about time you have a little fun. I've had enough of that panic face. <laughs> Are we holding your... <laughs> well, I feel brain is scared I am. <laughs> what, why? No one's going to hurt you. Not yet. Oh, my God. What are you doing? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> <laughs> it's laughing. Come on, Patty. He'll have no to gonna hurt you. He's going to have to tase you. We'll get a tase you. Don't worry about it. This is really sad. Oh, you're scaring me. Please, you're Mason. Scaring me. You're scaring me. Please, Mason. Yeah, I'm scared of you, officer. <laughs> well, yeah. the worst. She was a little nervous with oh, that whole uh, situation. That really was brutal. All that needed was a pinball machine <laughs> in the room. <laughs> they propped her up on that. Look, yeah. Let's Five guys in cowboy hats go. Mine doesn't fit either. Rotten virgin. <laughs> I was going to go to a phone call, and it just zapped away. Oh, brother. Ah. All right, well, Brian in Atlanta I was going to go to him. All right, we could do the news teases next, Anthony. News teases. Well, I don't know. The, the you know, Steve redid this, so hopefully it works. Yeah, the listeners are stupid, is what it boils down to. Our listeners are just retarded. We've been doing this whole thing on news teasers and how they just s- try to scare the shit out of you these days. Oh yeah. Like, what car explodes when you step on the brake? We'll tell you at eleven. Right. You guys sit there and go, you just spell it out, idiot. Yeah, We're yeah. sitting here. Your kids are at the soccer field. You're not sure yeah. if you should, uh, you know, take the car out. A right? food right. in your refrigerator could instantly kill you. Right. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. While your child is not safe. Uh, yeah. If they really wanted to help, if it was news that they were there to help and serve the public interest, they would tell you. But they're not. They're there for ratings. They're. A, and then they try to have this holier-than-thou attitude when you stand behind him with a stupid Opie and Anthony sign. <laughs> so uh, we, we've been playing some of these news teasers, and um, it's been very successful. But we just got a new batch, and the listeners have been sending these in, and now they don't get it. They're starting to send in ones that are just, you know, fire in our area. Yeah, okay. It's a news story, idiot. Yeah. It doesn't fit the whole <laughs> scheme of what <laughs> we're talking about. We're talking about the, the fear. A restaurant you eat in could be uh, spelling a botulism for you and your family. And you're like, all right, that's a good one. But is it even better that they send in the awful ones and ruin everything? <laughs> they really, you know, these <laughs> fucking yeah, when idiots. You, when you're trying to do radio, it gets very frustrating when you know you have this this great bit you could do and it, it's yeah. going to take up a half hour and then all of a sudden but you that, realize the, the dummies don't know how to do it. But part right. of the charm of this show is that that happens. Of us the just bombing. Yeah. Gunman no, that, broke know. into a, a, a jewelry <laughs> store today and shot two and made off with $50,000 in jewels. Yeah, okay. It's a news story, idiot. Now, if you can't make that funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For example, we got a we got an example of a bad one that was sent. Oh, out. we do. This is not what we're really looking for. Local fire crews have been busy tonight with the fear things will only get worse. We'll explain why coming up. All right. Oh, no, that's that actually pretty close. That kind of fits. It's almost that, there. Uh, that kind of fits. They there, could there get were worse. Ones. We'll that's explain why coming up. Right. But, but it's not the bit that we're looking for, and it just makes us a little frustrated, and, mm. and it makes us want to just uh, say stop the bit. I know. You know, the listeners in their car right now going, yeah, I get it. That's not really what the, the no, guys were looking for. Not totally. Here's another one. He could have killed him. Drunk drivers. <laughs> How do they get away with it again? And again? And again. Isn't your license revoked? That was number four. There's going to be a fifth. Investigative reporter Kara Floss examines loopholes that erase drunk driving convictions and let repeat offenders back on the screen. Are you supposed to be driving? Driving drunk. Wednesday at 10 on KETV. News Watch 7. Okay, listen, dummies. It's not uh, just because it's a cliffhanger because they're going to have it later on. Right. That's how they promote things. <laughs> right. That's just a promo. Colin understands it in two seconds. Like two seconds, he knows exactly what the bit is. And what we're talking about. And the listeners... Well, I should hope so. I've been in comedy for a long time. I've been <laughs> in the business. The listeners, they can just, listen and... I do love kidding. that guy's voice, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a movie trailer. Hold on. We just Fucking movie trailer. Go to the phone real fast. Rob in Connecticut. Go ahead, Rob. Colin gets the porno. Colin gets the porno. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. You guys suck. Awful Paul Anka impression he was doing. Listeners do Paul Anka impressions, too. Paul so you Anka. haven't been around in a while, Colin. Why does Paul Anka like porno? Nah, it goes back to... Oh. Can you get the original? No, I've really got to know the whole... Ba- no. The whole it, back It's story. worth it, actually. We got um, we got audio of Paul Anka yelling at his band. It's Losing hilarious. his mind. Really? Right. Something about shirts. We'll get to that eventually. But first, so let's get back to the news teases. Uh, this one is uh, more what we're looking for. 
Because we want the rest of the country to still send these in, please. Yeah. We want to get this bit back on track. You smart people. It's a good one. Using sunscreen, but still seeming to get burned. <laughs> Why over-the-counter medications and some vitamins may be making you more sensitive to sunlight. It's an ABC 7 News health report, Wednesday at 5. So basically, you're taking vitamins and... Yeah, and you're going to be get... canceling out your sunscreen? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Sound a little dangerous. You know what? That one's not even good. That was a little dangerous. It's still on the border. It is. No, yeah, it's not complete. Can we have one that uh, that, that proves our point is here? Is there one good one there? A more shark spotting this holiday weekend. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 11, find out where people are being warned to stay out of the water and what's being done to protect them. That's right. a good one. That's yep. a good one. That, that fits find the Find out where. Yeah. Right. Why not find just out. say it in that time frame yeah. you have? Save some of the fucking trouble of losing a leg because they didn't know where to go. Because you're not going to tune in when she says it's Florida. Yeah. Is uh, the shark attack still a hot uh, subject out there? Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, how many 20 Puerto Ricans have drowned over the yes. uh, holiday weekend and uh, over the summer so far? Yet they uh, they they want you to worry more about the sharks in the water than the rip currents. Well, it's the pull sharks out the families. The jets with the white guys. Huh? <laughs> how about a news teaser like this? Have foreskins? Stay out of the water. <laughs> nice musical <laughs> reference from 1960s. <laughs> I, I like to be in America. All right, we're going to try to get... A side story reference. We're going to try to get one that uh, fits the criteria. Come on. Well, it's news that could upset some ice cream lovers. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 6, details on a nationwide ice cream recall. Find out why this popular brand is being pulled That's from the freezer case. Ah. Perfect. That's good. Deadly that is ice it. cream. That's what we're looking for. This popular brand... Probably in your freezer right now. This popular brand. Is there any ice cream name that's longer than three words? Because it's a Hagen Das. Breyers. Right. Ben and Jerry's. Uh, that's three. It's equal. But that's not longer than. All right. So there's a. Uh, want something, fucko? <laughs> <laughs> that's him walking out the driveway. Karen can eat ice cream whenever she wants. I'll tell you the truth. I don't think you, you know. Now that I hear the bit, it's funny, but I really don't think you should obsess over it. It's not that great. Uh, <laughs> we like this bit, Colin. Yeah, it's likable, yeah. but it's not great. When you get the when you get yeah. them when you get the good ones, it is great. No, I gotta I like defend the bit. I gotta, no, I gotta defend this bit. It's a whole statement on the state of oh, our don't news take this, and, and what's don't going take this on. bit away from us. Yeah, I'm taking it away. At eleven o'clock, you get to just enjoy your life, and we have to you know make we shit have up to every live day. with this shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can erect the bit, well, and this can be hours. Of, I'll uh, give you a great bit right we now. We have to Ready? be proud of this drivel. I'll give you a great bit right now. Yeah. Ready? Would you like a thing every day? We do a new movie like Scarface. Yeah. And yeah. you do one of those Al Pacino, and then he has to do Patty as Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, wow. Well, we that's we kind of did that bit with uh, uh, the retarded Laverne and Shirley doing movie lines. We had the retarded oh. Laverne and Shirley read the script. We do Pulp have fiction. to bring that bit back. You guys are my heroes just Pulp because fiction. you brought them to the Video Music Awards where everybody's trying so hard to be trendy and hip. Oh, yeah. And you guys show up with those two and she goes, I'm sorry about your father. I'm fine. Yeah, Dale that's Earnhardt one of the greatest Jr. things ever done. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Hi. Hi. My name is your date. Who are you? Brilliant. Who are you? I'm Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, I'm so sorry about your father. Oh, dude. We had the spot Ugh. on the red carpet because we were working for Viacom. They were it was trying the to, greatest. They were trying to kiss our asses because oh. we were thinking of leaving, I guess. I think that, that was, was that yeah. time. Come on. So they give us the, the spot on the red carpet. Everyone else had to be in this pen except, and oh. Aunt and I were the last ones in our <laughs> spot. And everyone had to stop and talk to us. They were forced to. And yeah. they have to have these high. Everyone tries to show up with hot days. They show up with Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. Retarded Laverne and Shirley. Oh. Oh. Dennis the young hair and the other one. Yeah, they got their. <laughs> they went out and got dresses and stuff. Oh, it was great. And oh. makeup and. Uh, that is heroic shit to bring those two as your dates. And at the last second, Aunt and I gave them the microphones and we stepped back and back into the crowd and let them oh, interview it was everybody. Great. And yeah, Dale Earnhardt uh, uh, Jr. was there and and yeah. Oh, so many people. Line. They were just like, ow! Sorry to hear about your father. They were the. Yeah. They were great. Why? Yeah, did why, you do why? movie stuff with them? Uh, yes, Ben. Yeah, Do you remember we, they were getting all the rappers' names wrong? They were calling to the wrong guy, Cisco. Fifth call, fifth call. <laughs> that would, that did you guys do movie bits with them? Uh, we did it one time where they came in and did famous movie lines. From, like, and now they can Pulp curse. Fiction and stuff, yeah. But, uh... Mossless, Mossless. She said... She the best mos- one, it was, Wallace. it was a famous designer. Mos- Who was mos- it? Mos- Who was the famous designer they interviewed? Was it Hilfiger? Yeah, it might have been. Hilfiger? 
Hey, Ben, there's no reason to be lazy. You just said I don't remember. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Either it is or it isn't. But they're, they're dressed so awfully or whatever. Oh, it was the... And, and they're yeah. talking to the uh, top designer and actually said, we wear your clothes. Yeah. Oh, he walked away horrified. disgusted. They just cost him oh. a billion dollars. Lady the Di best. wearing that awful, you know, it's my nice blue dress. <laughs> oh, it's big old frumpy frock. Oh, exactly. Labels yeah. for less... They were the greatest, though. <laughs> that was Bon Jovi. They were mortified because they were singing their songs and saying the <laughs> lifelong dreams. <laughs> yeah. John and uh, Richie. Oh. They, yeah, they, they walked off and they just started right. singing Bon Jovi songs. <laughs> they were the and greatest. And then and Mick, Mick, Jagger did... came, Mick Jagger came this close and they saw him and he was like, ah! And he just like, <laughs> yeah, Mick, Mick kind of recoiled and went, ah! And think of the nightmares he's seen through his career. <laughs> Those fat whores. I got a handshake. Oh. I was ready for a picture. I was trying to get the camera lined up and they came over and, <laughs> Mick, Mick! And they chased him away. I still yeah. want them dead. <laughs> Mick has seen Keith Richards waking up after a bender, yeah. and he recoiled in horror at these two. It was like Altamont for him. <laughs> <laughs> He'd rather go back to Altamont. He wanted Hell's Angels there to yeah, they stab should. those two awful <laughs> humans. <laughs> they, should do a, they should do a movie like that. Like Jimmy Shelter with him just watching footage of those two of the awards, <laughs> crying. <laughs> it was classic. Uh, All right, well, here's some Paul Anko audio, just so you're up to speed, uh, Colin. You thought, you thought. You thought, you thought eight things tonight. You're on fucking notice, John. I gave you a list. Get half a list that I gave you with shoes and everything on it. Okay? The guys get shirts. Don't make a fucking maniac out of me. The guys get shirts. Do you understand? We're not going to be as strong as our weakest link. The guys get shirts. Oh, it is three times. It's three times, and it's in between. Don't make a fucking maniac out of me. You could do it twice. You but you gotta have the "Don't make a fucking maniac out of me" in the be in the middle, what which would ass. be really funny. <laughs> These guys are just you know studio musicians trying to make uh, a oh. living. What does he mean guys get shirts? I, he's crazy. He wants them all to dress appropriately on stage. The guys get shirts. I guess yeah, they were wearing something underneath their little jackets that they wear. Yeah, I think the, it's it got was, all match. I think it was the official Opie and Anthony Pest T-shirt. Do they have a Pest T-shirt that's available now? <laughs> yeah, yeah pre-ordering is. Happening now if you go to opianthony.com. All right, back to the news teases, Anthony. We're trying to get... To, well, the deadly ice cream was close, right? The deadly ice no cream one. was right there. That was perfect. That's the one. I don't want this so bitch the to go shark away. shark one. The shark was mediocre, too. Yeah. i got to be honest with you. Uh -huh. Mediocre. Right now, thousands of area residents are being told to turn off their taps. A mishap at a water treatment plant has authorities putting out a warning tonight. There you Come go. on, that's a good one. That's a good one. Thousands are area. Sitting with a glass of water, you yeah. make a tea. Oh. Sitting there going, ah, now what do I drink? Yeah, what's yeah, the water, what water treatment? Yeah, that's the criteria if it brings you into it. And right. And if you don't know, you like, they don't know which water treatment, they won't even tell them. No. Right. No, the Maybe area. you weren't listening when you were warned. Maybe you weren't home. It brings you into rang. the story because they're not telling you where right, the story that's is. That's what we're looking they for. They tend to languish in vagaries. Uh, Very good. Not really, but... Nah, they do. <laughs> it's always sarcastic when I say very good on the show. Good. Yeah. I never, ever mean it. <laughs> good. But I, All right. Here's, a, here's another one. Police are calling it an iPod crime wave. It's now claimed to life. We'll have the latest. Well, killer All iPods, right? right? Is that's that good? That's kind of scary. That's not a good one either? No, that's not a good one. The, la the last one was good. This, this one stinks. Kind of is dangerous to have an iPod in the Yeah, city. but they're not saying find out why. They're just saying there's an iPod crime wave. Yeah. Could be any news story. That's true. I hate yeah. Colin. Jesus, OB, you're the one that loves this bit. You don't even get I it. I hate it. <laughs> you don't even get it. <laughs> you're, like, you're like a buzzkill. We like this bit. I am a buzzkill. No, he's like uh, the teacher. He's you're critiquing gonna, our work. You're going to go home, and tomorrow we're going to have to like do Battle of the Sexes, some hack radio Ooh. bit, because you like, oh. convinced our listeners that this bit stinks. I didn't say it stinks. Can't do the news teasers anymore. I just don't think it's had a long shelf life. All right, well, let's try another one here. Boy, so you got should the feel life. a bit more woozy the next time you wine and dine. Beware. Join us as we uncork juiced up wine tonight at 6. What? Juiced up wine. What about that one, Colin? Yeah, that sounded like a big time. That sounded dangerous <laughs> because I don't know. Is it, again. We have to hear that one again. Is it somebody slipping you a mickey? Is it something in the wine when you buy it? Is it something people yeah, are doing to that, their wine? That, that fits what in the, the thing. fuck? That if you feel a bit more woozy the next time you wine and dine, beware. Uh, Join us yeah. as we uncork the juiced up That's wine. That's a good one. Yeah. It doesn't have the urgency of that day, but it's still... You know why? I'll tell you something. I like to drink wine, and that just made me all nervous. 
Oh. So, so it works. Now you want to hear the story. Now I got to know. Is it something? Is it, they're slipping Mickey's in places? I don't know. That's true. Or is it in the wine? They are slipping Mickey's in places in 1938. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I got the life expectancy of a house fly. You know that's from? You ever see at close range? I was walking. <laughs> Boy, I ain't got the life expectancy of a housefly. What, what's going to happen if you drink too much wine? Are you going to start complaining that you have to wait to see Michael? I'm going to wait out of the lobby. <laughs> High in the Sierra Mountains, you <laughs> champagne, champagne cocktails. Uh, I love that guy. All right, do we like the juiced up wine? Uh, we like it, but it's not yeah. our favorite, but it's good. You that know, works. The, first, that the, works. Other, the last three or four were the ones that really they hit. fit. They I all think the fit. fans are, are coming across. They're now really, they work. These aren't as good as the ones we had last week. No, yeah, great ones last good. week. Yeah, all right. but they're good. I, li I like them. How about this one coming in from Denver? Well, coming up tonight at nine thirty. Just having one of these can cost you a lot of these, depending on where you are. I'm Don Ward with the warning straight ahead in the live report. Well, that's perfect. What was he holding up? Maybe he was holding something up. In one hand, it was a cock, and he said it can cost you a lot of these. In the next hand, it was a T-cell. Oh. Stupid. Oh, my God. You actually, what? You, you just squished my orange. <laughs> I wasn't going to eat it anyway because it's mealy and awful. You were preparing that orange for the last ten minutes, though. That's the beauty of what yeah. I just said. It really Jimmy, was annoying. Jimmy peeled his orange perfectly, yeah, split perfectly. it into two exactly equal segments, <laughs> put it on the napkin in front of him. Jimmy yeah. was even taking the little white off. Yeah, after, yeah. Off, <laughs> after you peeled your orange in front of him, and then he had to do his line, which he was so confident about that he didn't even stop Colin from smashing his orange with a Lysol can and spraying juice all like he could have stopped. In the middle, but that line was so important to you. I actually was, didn't mind it because I. The it was even was better because you're squirting on him. Ooh, it I didn't smells expect orangey in here. <laughs> it smells good. I, I like it. I didn't expect such a rousing success. It actually squirted. His <laughs> shirt <laughs> got all over his shirt. That made a big mess. I didn't think it would be. That was a great. That was a great visual because it seemed like you were peeling and preparing that orange for a really long time. It really was. <laughs> it was starting to bug me more and more. Yeah. Can I have some water and a, a glass of water and the and the? Because uh, now you're sticky. Um, no, just for the table. Yeah. And another orange, maybe, because that orange fucking blue. <laughs> hate sticky. Look right. at him trying to act like that orange blue now. It Can did. I have another one? It was mealy. If I want one another place. You would have been turned off on orange. You would have asked for an apple. I already ate my apple. All right, you had an apple already? Yeah. Wow, fruity guy. I like one of these can cost you one of these. Yes. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what he was holding up. He, he had a cock in one hand and then T-cells in the other. <laughs> <laughs> Well, coming up tonight at 9.30. Just having one of these can cost you a lot of these, depending on where you are. I'm Don Ward with the warning straight ahead in a live report. I picture him holding up a And cock. the warning sound that says, get the heck out of the way. This ferry is not stopping. At 9.20, a runaway ferry. Well, that's a runaway ferry story. It's not uh, every ferry runs away. Yeah. Oh, man. Right. These guys did an awful job with this bit while we were away. They I did. Didn't can I have a little less water? Yeah, four that were good. How much water did you get? Can Jimmy, let me I don't know. This? Apparently, there's a big shortage. <laughs> I thought you were using a Shut up, would you? Hold on. This is where it comes to, Harry. He's afraid it's tap water. That, that, that's, 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 that's where it comes to. Less, actually, less than half a wow. cup. Water that can kill you. Thanks. I like the fact that he highlighted it with the red marker, too. Yeah. You kind of made the little line on the outside of the cup, oh, Harry Jimmy. is dumb. It's the new rage on the Internet, but is your teenager's daily blog opening them up to some very unwanted attention? Ah. That's, that counts. Yeah, you I think? know it's not hilarious, but it's, it fits the bill at least. I, it's probably true, though. Your teenager yeah. has a blog. It's going to get people reading it and, you know, hey, you want to meet me at the yeah. train station. You know what? Yeah. I think we have to give this bit back to Nathaniel and Danny. To yeah. Do it right. They know how to do this bit right. And if the listeners are, are fortunate enough to send in some good ones, we'll play them tomorrow or wow. Friday. Yeah, give it back to the boys. Because I was excited for this bit today. You mean our employees, Opie? Ah, oh, that's right. Our ah. employees, Nathaniel our, and ah. Danny and Travis. Back, and Travis. Back with the Opie and Anthony uh, show. Not interns anymore. They're now working. <laughs> they yeah, are we, uh, working for the yeah, program. Yeah, their first move was to divide and conquer on all those videos I was going to steal. <laughs> <laughs> They're spread out all over the place now. They're a good crew. Look at him. All right, we'll Whatever get, his name is, and oh, the other shit. guy. Another fight one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get that bit back on the rails, Anthony. Yeah, back please don't give it up. Don't give it up. Uh, let's say hi to Dave in Ohio. Dave, what's up? 
Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, man. Hey, Dave. Hey, I know what the hidden danger was that the news teaser was talking about. It's uh, Ben Pollock. Who's what? Ben's hog was the hidden danger. Hidden danger. Our producer is well endowed. Wow. Oh, what a yeah. Well, we don't we know don't know. Uh, There's just something going on in front really? of his pants. Is that Look, true, when he comes in here next time, he's got a, like a he's got like a big bulge, but we can't tell if he's got those ridiculously big balls. Right. Those right. Boston balls, or if uh, it's a huge hog. No, I think Ben probably wears pampers. Big, huh? You think he's got a big hog? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe he is incontinent. Why don't you make him take it out? Yeah. No, we don't want to see it. Why not? Speak for yourself. You want yeah, to see it? Take yeah, a peek. Well, Why not? You've got to take a peek to I'll see what it's about. I yes. bet it's got a really thin shaft and a fat, large head. <laughs> <laughs> so he's embarrassed. Make him take it out right now. Like a big mushroom. It's, a, yeah. it's one of those mysteries that we're trying to figure out on this program. I don't yeah. think we'll ever Matt in PA. Out. What's up, Matt? Hey, guys. Uh, Colin, big fan. Loved you on remote control. I, uh, Jesus. You calling from a I... rotary phone? <laughs> hey. Uh, like a cell phone. I seen on uh, TV last night. They uh, said, "Is your kid playing baseball bat, Russian roulette?" Find out at eleven. There's a story about defective baseball bats. That's a good one. See, yeah. that's what we're looking that for. Stuff like that. And one more thing. Yeah. Ben's hog is so big that Lady Di's husband thought it was a train and jumped in front of it. <laughs> I'll tell you how you just right. that could have been better. You yeah. didn't have to say thought it was a train. You should have just said Lady Di's husband jumped in front jumped of it. Jumped in front of it. Now that's funny. Yeah, but you you told too much and over explained. Yeah. Listen right. to the pros. Listen how the pro gives you advice. That, like no, that on knows a joke. what he's talking about. I, I sure like that. do. Because that did make it funny. That did make it funny. Yeah. All right. You K want, words are funny. It's more inside <laughs> joke too. You want, Gives you that inside yeah. thing. You want to talk about Atlantic City before we go to break, or uh, when we? Get I had back? a great time in Atlantic City. Went there over the weekend, uh, holiday weekend. Went to the uh, Borgata. Borgata. You ever been there? Sure. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Nice. It's right. away from a lot of the riffraff. Uh, they got the Borgata babes in there, yeah. which uh, are indeed babes. They got the hottest. Chick- <gasps> the hottest I went a couple. I went a couple of weeks ago, and I had to stay. Uh, I made reservations real late, so the only place that had rooms available was the Tropicana. Yeah, and it is the worst. <laughs> I went there, and the the waitresses walking around were in their fifties, and I'm not exaggerating. I'm not. Ju- they were in their fifties, old ladies with the beehive hairdos walking around, uh, serving you drinks. It's so disgusting. I saw a show at the Tropicana. Twatos on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, I would really bring them in. I think. <laughs> I think so too. Hey guys, I gotta leave. I gotta sleep somewhat. What? Are you going to sleep? You're in the middle of his uh, Atlantic City story. Why are you leaving, Carl? No, I'm saying we, after this, you said you're on the break. For the no, you thrilling. Just, uh, you just leave. We don't, we don't need the big send-off. With Carl. Oh, then if, uh, all right, He's all fine. sleepy now. Yeah, we have, now we have sleepy Carl. Yeah. I'm not sleepy. I have, I'm actually supposed to meet. I thought, meet. We're, I thought we were having fun, man. We are having fun. Who are you meeting? Yeah, who's more important Where are you than going? Us? I, I, I actually, me and my agent, we're having a meeting with Sirius Radio. Oh. They want to talk to me. And maybe, I'll, maybe I'm talking to you off that bit because you might see it on my. It won't matter. I had a Sirius Radio. I was telling Opie the other I had a Sirius Radio thing. Well, you know, because I'm like enough of a name where you'd think that dumb station would be like, oh, well, he's enough of a name. We'll throw him on some triumph. So I go in. They go, we really like, I was doing Brewer Show. So we'd love you to come in. So I go, yeah, I'll come in. I put in like 40 pages of notes, laid it down for like an hour straight. Yeah. So it was like, you know, you know when I get pompous and think I'm being autistic. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm sitting there reading all the stuff, like, blah, 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 like really working hard. They never called me back. That was like four months ago. Wow. I have a meeting. I might, sp- I might punch this guy right in his chops when I see him. Jesus. Well, well we might be losing Colin then. Well, no, guess, you won't. I yeah. gotta, I'll be like Scorch. Go. I'll just come in. I'll call in. <laughs> you can't, uh, yeah, but you can't work over there and come here. Not even because it's like one of those, you know, you do that show, you don't do this show. But you, you, it's just they don't allow it. They, they won't, won't allow it. it. They won't allow it. Won't allow, uh, serious. Serious won't. won't allow you to come over and do XM. Yeah. Believe me. So this is your last appearance. On our what do you show. mean? I'm going to have a dumb meeting. I, they already rejected me. They, they give everyone a show over there. That's what made it so more insulting. I'm a name. <laughs> Half my coming. family has shows over there already. Everyone yeah. does. They're probably going to give you they 17 million. Well, they're going to give me. You better watch out because you're in competition when I do my impressions. Well, I got four <laughs> brothers. They all have their own channel over there at this point. <laughs> everyone. Jesus. Everyone's got a show over there. And they pay good. They pay millions oh, at Colin. least. Yeah, we had uh, fun. Fellas, nothing's happening. We with had them. fun with you over the years. Stupid meeting. We had fun with you over the years. It's been great. You know, they're gonna offer you a big contract. 
Maybe try to get some of your Hollywood friends to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing the uh, Colin, Ant. You're I'm not losing me. I'm not getting a show. It's unbelievable. Oh, I know I shouldn't have said nothing about my big, serious radio. <laughs> they already heard my demo. They didn't like it. Now they're going to sit there and go, what about this? And I'm going to go, no. <laughs> Put that demo in the air. It's going to be a hit. Well, please let us know how it goes over there. Well, I'd love to. Colin, if you will, uh, this is your last appearance. It's not my last. Sad walking away music. <laughs> so you might as well just take the headphones off and just remember the good good times you had with us. Good times. On this program. <laughs> remember? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> It's gonna spray it in his face. They didn't oh, he's spraying the Aussie uh, bobblehead. Didn't think that bad that you have to like spray the Lysol all over the place. Probably ways since I got here. Do you have any final words? Well, I mean, I'm not really leaving. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm walking out. Just, you know. <laughs> Best wishes and good luck over there at Sirius. Say Satellite hi, radio. radio. Say hi to Barry Williams for us. Another old Does friend of the show. Does he have a show there, too? He can't come on? Yeah, no. that's why you haven't heard Barry Williams. He does, like, some 70s uh, show uh, must be over there. Good, good show. Say hi to Barry for us, okay? Barry Another Williams. Another old friend that Jim Brewer. We thought had some uh, loyalty yep. to him. That's right. Look, he's cleaning off. All right, Colin. Bye, boys. There he goes. Colin, Bye, take care. Good, Good luck seeing you. you. Look at him kiss Jimmy's head. And tell tell those guys I did get back to them, but I haven't heard back. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> Jimmy, we'll lose Jimmy. Colin, you have to walk out all awkwardly. This is our bit. This is well, another I'm bit we don't want to lose. Big. I'm just thinking about stealing those tapes, and then I realize that's really important. You can What's take that? the tapes. You should let him. He's going to go home. He's got nothing to do. Yeah, exactly. To prepare for his new radio show. Big meeting. Thanks, guys. All right, Colin. There he goes. Colin, take care. <laughs> oh, he's taking them all. Jesus oh, Christ. Found the one hidden under a pile of papers. <laughs> Black Sabbath tribute band. Oh, Sabracadabra. <laughs> right in the garbage. <laughs> Bye-bye, Colin. There he goes. Colin Quinn, everyone. There he goes. Bye, everyone. <laughs> he won't leave. Good luck at Sirius Satellite Radio. Is there a part of an Atlantic City story I should hear? No. Nah. No, nah, don't worry about the Atlantic City Nothing. story. It was, nah. it was just filler because you Maybe wrecked our news tease bit. Huh? All right, the music's over. We can't talk to you anymore. That's that's how the bit Colin. goes. <laughs> He's even really awkward. There he goes. <laughs> that is the best. He's walking out. <laughs> well, we'll, my pet we'll lose phone. him. They'll sign him up. We'll lose him, too. Yep. Jesus. <laughs>